<laughs> the stream has now begun. There we go. Here we are. I believe the first word of the entire stream was crustification. <laughs> uh, what, so what is it called when everything evolves into a crab? Is that like cr crustification? Wait, I can't say I've ever heard of this. Wait. And let me mute the stream sort of. Um, there's like this thing where <laughs> never mute the stream. For some reason, lots of species like in parallel converge into the same like crab design. It's like called crabification or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, so good. but hear me out. Crabs are cool, so um, it's fine. It's called. Carcanization, okay. That's weird, but alright. That's pretty funny. I like it. I like it a lot. So we'll, we'll close. Alright, hey, so anyway. Let's uh, let's link the chat to, to people. Groups, red, individuals. Where's the... I feel like there's a... Uh, is it here that people say there was originally a... Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to promo real quick for, before we actually start the game. Oh, I know. did that. I'm gonna... Tats know as well. Ooh, good friend Tats. Ooh. And uh, and almost there. Almost there. Chats is busy and that's okay. Um, yeah. uh, all right, there we go. I feel like that's enough self promotion into a couple of different discords and whatnot. Uh, let's play. Let's play video game, which I have tested. I specifically in advance checked if it worked. Look at that. Isn't that great for me to be prepared in that regard Blame. and then not prepared in the other regard? Wait. For some reason, we have to specifically episode select it. Okay, that's... You sure? Yeah, it's like, if I click... Like, when I went to the continue page, right? There's just turnabout for tomorrow. Oh, I guess it didn't... Say it didn't, like... It's because it, it's, it's the DLC case. You have to, like, manually load it, I guess. Sure. Our episode start. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Cool. My name is Phoenix Wright. Ooh. Head that it the is. Right anything agency and a lawyer. Although I was doing something else entirely for a while there. As for why I decided to formally get back into lawyering, let's just say there's unfinished business to take care of. Is this case fully voiced or some shit? I I'd reminisce about what? my first case back on the job. And Can you hear him? It was. Yeah. It happened only a few months after Athena joined our office. Okay, so yeah, before the final case, but like. Okay. Big strike got turned into an attorney's badge. That's so sad. That's true. What a time. Imagine being a just a cylindrical object like that. Here we go. Okay. Oh god, I hate it. I love it and hate it at the same time. <laughs> a lot. It's Disneyland! Woo! Big oh, it's the, the Sea World or whatever. Oh yeah, this is Australian Poly Resort Sea World. You, you know that there's Australia. a Sea World in America, right? No. <laughs> but we've got Movie World, that's what we've got. Yeah, we have. Ah, uh, but we also have Nickel Nickelodeon. 
No way. We have Nickelodeon. No, way. <laughs> no I swear I didn't. I was like, Nickelodeon has a place, right? And I'm like, wait, no, I think Wet n Wild was like Nickelodeon's Wet n Wild for a oh, bit. Oh, really? There, I think. I was in my brain, I was like, we have Nickelodeon's. Wait, hang on. Wet n Wild can't be them, can it? And I'm like, I think it might have been at some point, but I genuinely don't remember. So, you know, there you go. I. Uh, nope. Oh, we got, we'll, have to, we'll have to Google that eventually, but not now, because I we got to play. We got a case to uh, we got a case to solve. Do. Oh, okay. Well, it's not fully voiced now. I'm disappointed. Thank God. Well, that would have been fun though. Maybe. But then we'd have nothing to do. Shh. You're absolutely right. But also, I like the actual voice actors. So. Shh. Yeah. True. But yeah, since since it is before um before the final case, that means we get Fulbright and Simon. Oh god. We get chained Simon and we get uh Fulbright. I wonder if there'll be like weird references to like future content and like the fact that oh. they, they surely they, as the DLC case they felt like they could like, you know, wink wink nudge nudge or oh, something. That'd be, uh, yeah. that'd be good. Let's see. Who knows though. All right. Well, today is my first day back on the job as a lawyer. So this is is it just is it either just before no, this would be just before the final case then cuz he became a lawyer. Remember, he became a lawyer just in time for the bomb case. Oh, okay. But he, this, I feel like this must be. I don't know. We'll see. Let's find out. Putting this attorney's badge on again really makes it hit home. Boy, am I pumped! Even Trucy said, "Looking good, Daddy." So, Athena, Apollo, what do you think of the old attorney's badge? Yes, he's not punished. I mean, so it's either I don't know. We'll fight. We'll figure it out. Punishment. Wow! This Ship Shape Aquarium show is great! I can't get enough of it! Um... Athena? I still can't believe they showed the Swashbuckler Spectacular on TV! Good thing I recorded this. Now, who's ready for another viewing? You've already watched it five times! Let's watch something else now. How could you even suggest such a thing? This show is therapeutic! Uh, boss here asking you guys a question. What's so therapeutic about watching a killer whale? Good question. What? Don't you know anything? Animal assisted therapy is an established psychiatric treatment. That's mm. true. You're kidding. That kind of thing really exists? No, for real. This is this is a real thing she's talking about now. It's a real thing. I've been to the aquarium myself to try it, and it really helps. I still go to their go to there or whatever i still go to there every now and then to further my psychology studies the last time i went i saw a dolphin and an orca swimming around together it was so hey do you two think you could quit goofing off and do some work for a change oh. <laughs> are you for real Plus, we just <laughs> i didn't even didn't wow <laughs> oh my god what an absolute time. Do I have to... Is it... It means it's gone. Okay, I'm blushing. That's... That's so fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, no. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. All right. Well, the good news is we get to skip whatever that was this time. I mean, it, like, as a weird, like, I can't believe you... I don't know what I meant. It wasn't weird. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. It could only be weird. That's the problem. Yeah, I should have thought about that. <laughs> My name is Phoenix. Can I skip no! the... He turned back into a toast badge! Um, oh, I legitimately think I can't skip this. I legitimately think- I'm- I'm pressing escape, yeah. my dude. And all I'm doing is making it's, um, it. It's like... A pre-run thing. Well, this part- oh yeah, this part is, but then when it comes to the actual video. Oh, true. It happened only a few months after Athena joined our office. Only a few months. Uh, I know someone. Knows. Someone definitely told me it was before the final case. So, okay. yeah. Turn about reclaimed. Reclaimer. Can I? Oh, I legitimately can't skip it either. Oh my god, we have well, to watch. We know what they're gonna say. Yeah, imagine remembering the words of their stupid ass song. <laughs> ah! All I feel is pain, knowing that we're gonna hear that shit again. What's the orca's name? Wait, no. No. Hmm? I think the orca's name is Captain Lorelei. No. <laughs> ah! No, there's no way. There's no way. But it might be. 
So what I'm gonna do is the very first chance I get to save, I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> well, there's just a skeleton over there. Like, yo. What? Oh no. Just a skeleton. All right, it's loading. Oh, there was Nickelodeon land inside of SeaWorld. That's what you might have been thinking of. Maybe? Okay. All right, making a save right now. Turn about for tomorrow, goodbye. You're for, you, you're, you're gone. You're, you're another day. There we go. No! Special app. That's fine, we can just play it again eventually. All right, we have now officially saved the game. Uh, we should, I should, so should enable speed mode, right? Maybe. Just a little bit. Uh, sure. Just, you know, uh, we were a little bit, we weren't, we weren't, well, you know, we're not that far in, but still. Hmm. Really helps. Uh, we definitely still, okay. It was so, and then, hey. Do you think you could goof around and do some work for a change? All right, now we save, and we also turn off speed mode. Okay, there we go. Now we're actually continuing after that weird, like, tiny delay. Thank you, Blue Stacks, you bastard. You're Let me just make sure that Firefox is less tabs running, maybe, to be safe. True. I just, you know, I just had uh, a couple of tabs open from when I was uh, booking my vaccination. Ah, did you get it in? I think so. But I also don't have a confirmation email from the government yet, so I don't actually know. If you got that far, I mean, that's something. A lot of people weren't even getting... Yeah, no, it was actually just... Really like, it was, it was fucked, my dude. It was bad. Mm. But, like, you know, understandable. Everyone, everyone wants a damn vaccination, but, like... Damn, was it was the network connectivity bad to the point of that the entire thing crashed at one point and just wasn't it was inaccessible. Hmm. Turns out like having an entire nation use a servers is uh yeah. difficult. Yeah. Without, you know, servers the size of the city. Yeah. Like like Google Ass servers. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright. Work. But we've already cleaned the toilet twice each. Oof. Hey, wait a minute. Is that your badge I see? Wow, congrats on getting your attorney's badge back, boss. Thanks. Starting today, I'm officially a lawyer again. Sheesh. It took him long enough to notice. I'm sorry, am I supposed to, I'm supposed to pronounce that word a different way, aren't I? Sheesh! Sheesh! Or whatever, right? I don't know. It's, it's, I, don't, I, don't know where, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> like, the only reason I know about it is because someone went into a bunch of different, like, Yogscast streams asking them to do it. That's it. That's the only reason I know about it. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Gee, Mr. Wright, with that badge on, you suddenly look so capable. <laughs> um, thanks? It's not like I was some lazy bum, you know? I mean, you were. You were. <laughs> what made you so suddenly so fired up to get your badge back anyway? Ah, well, I made a promise to a certain someone. An important promise. What could be so important? Anyway, we have three lawyers now, so we'd better start taking on lots of work. I'm all for that. Let's get this agency hoppin'. Well, we have plenty of enthusiasm. All we need now are some clients. It's been eight years since I last wore this badge. I feel like a rookie all over again. Damn. What's yours? Uh, this just did. There you go. Markiplier in the scene. The <laughs> owner of Ship Shape Aquarium, Captain Jack Shipley. Has been murdered. Oh no! I think I think I think the implication is that we're defending the orca. No, no, no. How many? Be, no, come, come There's no people yet. The suspect in this in the case is reportedly already in custody inside the aquarium. Isn't that the aquarium we were just watching, Athena? It is. I can't believe it. A murder at Shipshape Aquarium. But I love that place! We need to get to the bottom of this! Um... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ooh, it's something like that. Do you want is it? I'm, assu I'm assuming it's Pirate Hat Girl or whatever. That's my guess. Let's see. Is it really? I guess I'm in luck then. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Um... Do you want me to take it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. I need Phoenix Wright to save my friend. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what voice to give her. I don't know. Who in the world Get is this? Girl, yeah. Um, are you a client? Like, 
No, because remember she sounds. Oh, you true. know, like how she we literally have recorded we literally what have she, video evidence. Video evidence that she sounds like just a person. Or whatever. Anyway, mm. wait, that costume. It looks just like I've got it. You must work at Ship Shape Aquarium. Buckler. Excuse me? You minnow it? I'm so uh, what, what is I I'm scared. I'm scared of what's to come. Puns are on the horizon. <laughs> puns ho, my dude, puns oh, ho. I'm wearing my <laughs> right. armor. That's right, you minnow it. I'm Sasha Buckler. I perform like an agile catfish in our pirate show. It'll blow fish your mind. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> like, I'm just glad I already like. <laughs> you know, blowfish. Those puns floundered a bit. God damn it, Phoenix. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, he does actually use that word like outside of this context. <laughs> to oh, be okay. fair. Um, yeah. Well, um, it's a good thing I'm I'm used to making puns, but damn, these are like worse than my usual. Hehe. <laughs> I figured out the client's identity. Chalk one up for analytical psychology. My friend is under suspicion of murder, so I really need some help. That's why I've got to find this Phoenix Wright guy. Well, I'm Phoenix Wright. And this is Apollo Justice and Athena Sykes. They're lawyers too. There's anything you need. All you have to do is ask. The same goes for me too, Ms. Buckler. Haha, <laughs> just call me Sasha. And I'll call you all by your first names too, if that's alright. Phoenix, Apollo, Athena, you have to help me. Please save my friend. Guess we better start by asking her more about her defense request. Apparently I have to save scum like crazy, otherwise it might just disappear again. I like the equal of saves coming. Yeah. It's like the opposite of saves coming. That's true, it's just so that we can actually progress at all. Yeah. This design is insane, by the way. This character's design, yeah. <laughs> The, it's like the floaties are getting uh, like the funniest thing. <laughs> she's got floaties. She, like it's all the, like so many like, of so many of her clothes are like the same floaties. colors like as well. Remember, she's got mm. one long sock as well, like Maria and um, Simfa Gigi. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Your defense request. I, cl I thought I clicked it, but then it didn't click. Oh. Miss Buckler, Sasha, could you tell us more about why you need our help? My friend is suspected of murdering the captain of Shipshape Aquarium. Captain. I thought the victim was the owner of the aquarium. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, well, our aquarium has a pirate ship theme. The whole thing is like a big ship. This is great. Nothing. That's why we call the owner our captain. We call the employees crew, too. You know what? That's actually not surprisingly out there. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. It's a pretty unusual aquarium you've got there. Anyway, one of the crew members, my friend, is being suspected of the captain's murder. Tried to, I've tried to distinguish her with a bit of like gravel that's probably gonna like yes, fuck it. my throat, honestly. I, I, can, I, I can feel in advance that my throat is going to die by the end of this. But it's no. okay. They've already decided she's guilty. I think they're gonna give her the death penalty. What? What happened to due process? But my friend is as sweet and gentle as a whale shark. She wouldn't oh, hurt a guppy. It is the fucking god. It is. I know there's no way she murdered anyone, but they won't believe me. I'm gonna need so much water. But with a name like Right, I figured you'd be able to help, help me set them straight. I thought she was going to say set them right. Wait, don't tell me she picked you all because of a bad pun. Ouch, I see my reputation doesn't precede me. But seriously, my name can't be the real reason she's here. What's the real reason you picked me, Sasha? Well, to be honest, I asked a whole slew of lawyers... But they all refused. They said stuff like, there's no merit to taking your case, or I'm not sure I can help. They're all as cruel as sharks with hearts punnier than whitebait. Why is she doing this? I hate this pose. She's, she's supposed it. to be like a rock pirate, and I hate it. I think it's cool. Ooh, I can really feel Sasha's frustration. <laughs> with nobody on her side, she must feel all alone. But helping people like her is the whole reason I became a lawyer in the first place. And then I heard about a lawyer named Phoenix Wright. They say he defends clients to the end, no matter how bleak the circumstances. Hmm, guess my reputation does precede me. Not sure how well-deserved it is, though. I thought to myself, if anybody can save my friend, it's you, Phoenix. Quite a tall order there for a man who just got his badge back. 
I don't want to let Sasha down, or her friend. Let's help it, Mr. Wright. Let's save her friend. That's just what I was thinking. Sasha will accept your case. You will? Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do it now visibly, unfortunately, but I do that a lot. Just did like this. No, it's the, 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 the devil horns. Oh, I, 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 I do just like, I just do find myself genuinely doing that quite a lot. Whatever. Maybe it's because oh. I'm a demon. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Mm. Oh, you will? Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver, literally. Oh, fuck. Oh. God damn it. Because she meant oh. it there's a pun for like... <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so bad. I love it. <gasps> well, no time to stand around and mull it over. <laughs> God. Ah! They were making this game. They are like, wait. How many fish puns we, can we make? We what are we doing? And then they just went crazy. <laughs> they went insane. <laughs> I want you to meet my friend right away. Come to Ship Shape Aquarium with me. You got it. And I'll go too. Sorry, but I need you to stay here and keep an eye on the office until Trucy gets back. You never know when a new client might stop by. But how come I'm the one who has to stay behind? Alright, it's official. If I'm voicing like three people, you have to get all of like the next people. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. That's what I was, Feels <laughs> I, was I was about to say, are we gonna leave are we actually gonna leave Apollo behind? And then yep. Yeah. Come Thanks on. a million, Apollo. Well, ladies, let's move to the aquarium, shall we? We're well, ladies. Well, ladies. Move. Oh. Let's let's move to the aquarium. I'll get I'll I'll call a lot of the moving men. Okay, cool. I'll put the I'll uh I'll get my friends to help. Nice. Oh. <gasps> move some furniture. Holy shit, this is the future. This is the Yo, you know what? Oh wait, no. See, I was about to say the pixelation here is excusable because it's underwater, then I realized how not pixelated this is, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no. Go on, graphics, let's go. <laughs> graphics! Ship Ship Aquarium, Aqua Tunnel. It makes up for the fish AI, at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, putting fucking well, COD Ghost. Putting COD Ghost to shame. This is actually a really cool aquarium, though. Now, like, no lie, if they've got a, if they've got a thing this big. Yeah, this would this, be sick, I roll. Yeah. Wow, this is gorgeous. It's just like being under the sea. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is the Aqua Tunnel, our pride and joy. I'm really glad you like it. Are you kidding me? I fucking hate it. I'm going to go on ahead and fill the detective in on your arrival. Take a look around the tunnel and then come meet me at the pool up ahead on the right. It's actually so, so long. Hey boss, look at this cute little fish. Mmm, I bet it would be delicious grilled. What the fuck Seriously? Is that really all you can think of? Well, I didn't get to eat lunch today. Ooh, here comes some grilled chicken. Bro, we call Bro. that a penguin. <laughs> it's not a chicken, it's a penguin. Give me a little cutie. <laughs> Yeet. It ignored me. Can, I can, you know what? I don't need special powers to know how sad Athena is right now. Maybe it was hungry too. Oh look, it dropped something. Ah, it's an ad for the Swashbuckler Spectacular show. That penguin had a whole bunch of these stuffed in its backpack. So it's passing out flyers, huh? How cute. Is that legal? I, I don't know. Is that know. moral? Is that... Oh. <laughs> is that allowed? Who knows? A carrier penguin that, distri that distributes flyers? We could use one of those for our office. Alright, well, there you go. Cool. Well, can't keep the client waiting. We'd better get going. Let me just have a look at that real quick. Oh, okay. Aura. Aura. Captain Aura. Oh. The feature in the dashing red stash with a fluttering red scarf. Who will obtain the gold coins hidden in the skull rock? I love that skull rock already. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, I'm the skull rack. What will you do? Skull. Yes. I'm gonna skull some water right now. Power. Better get going. Yeah, you're right. Time to roll up our sleeves. Why? I'm doing it. Rolling. Mine are as rolled up as they can get. Yo, Yo this tank. Fish tank that's time to swim in. Is that a fucking octopus machine? Is this Da Vinci's octopus? One of its tentacles is broken off. That's sad. Ship Aquarium, a question mark. Interesting. Huh? I don't see Sasha. Let me just save the game. Just because you never know. 
You never know. I'm going to take some water while we're at it. <laughs> See some water in the video game? Take a drink. Go. That's how this works. As soon as you see a new instance of water, or a separate instance, it could be an existing instance, but just not like one that we've seen already. But you know, every time you see a, a different body of water, yeah, little body of water, right? Little body. Uh, I don't see Sasha. Ah, are you two the lawyers Miss Buckler mentioned? <laughs> yep, he's oh. here. <laughs> Detective Fulbright, are you the lead detective on this case? Oh, that's right. As long as evil exists in this world, there'll be no rest for me. And who is your sea urchin-like friend there? I don't believe we've met. Is he talking about me? I'm the defendant's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Well, I'm Detective Bobby Fulbright. People don't usually get to see this area. It's only open now because of the investigation. You two are pretty lucky to get this peek behind the scenes of an aquarium. Lucky. Right, this guy is, an even, is even louder than Apollo. So where's the suspect being questioned, and where is Ms. Buckler? Here I be, me buckos. I don't know if that was Sasha, it is. Okay. Be me buckos. Eek! Ah! Shiver me timbers! They'd be one of Dread Pirate Nostash's scurvy swabs. Apparently. That's a... That's a... Pirate. I beg your pardon, I'm not anyone's swab, scurvy or otherwise. More shameless than a sea lion, ye be, trying to make off with me best bucko. If you want to pick a fight with us, ye'd best bring along an army of great white sharks. <laughs> Squeak, fweet. I love it. I love you. <laughs> this is I my favorite. Squirt. Sasha, what's going on here? Let me introduce you. This is the friend I was telling you about. Her name is Aura Shipley. There it is. But she only responds to Orla, so that's what makes people call her. I'm her trainer. There it is. We are actually defending an orca. I'm... I don't know how to feel about this. Sasha, her name is Aura. Why is it... I guess because it is short for orca either way. Yeah. But her name is Aura, is the thing. She's the suspect in the murder, but she'd never hurt anybody. So glad they got voice lines. Yeah. Just for the... She's the suspect? Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, and thank goodness you came before they put her down. I'm really grateful to the two of you. I just know you'll save Orla. What? Don't tell me you didn't even know who your client was. Man, I just want to push him into the fucking water right now. Oh, yeah? Don't mention it. An orca is the suspect? Our client is an orca? Is this for real? Oh, did I forget to mention that? Oopsie. Damn it. That's one very big oopsie. Very tactical. Tacti we call that a tactical oops. Tactical oops incoming. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what was with that mustache earlier? Oh, this be part of me costume for the Swashbuckler Spectacular. When I be wearing the mustache, I be one of Captain Orla's Swashbucklers. <laughs> the rest of the costume is just how she dresses normally. I guess it's just because it's easier to not switch in and out of it or something. A transformation True. as dramatic as a puffer fish's, wouldn't you say? Put her tongue out now, just like. Mm. I, I, I don't know why why she is why is she like this as just the, as a person. <laughs> this is good. I love this. <laughs> I love and hate this case at the same time simultaneously. I love unhinged people. I love unhinged characters. It's great. I don't think I would ever say that. It's a pirate themed aquarium, so that's why Ola is wearing a pirate hat, right? Yep, she really loves wearing hats. She puts them on all the time. But her fake mustache keeps falling off, so that's a problem. I see. Well, why don't we start with you telling us a little bit more about Orla? The music theme is great. Yeah. It's like Mario Party music. <laughs> it really it really does feel like Mario Party music. Wait. Was that just a was that just a way for you to slip the word Mario into conversation? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you do you in a different way like to like how I see Mario? <laughs> Look, hear me out. Hear me out. You, you you say it a lot. 
To the point of yeah. you've, you've tried to ruin songs by singing Mario to the songs. I, you know what, mate? You got a good point. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not... It's not an unreasonable thing to say. Yeah, you gotta... I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> so you're really serious about me defending Orla? Of course I am. You're the only one who can do it, Phoenix. I heard you once questioned an animal during a trial, and that got your client off the hook. No way! You did that?! I, uh, might have tried something like that at one point in my career. <laughs> Try to forget it? <laughs> Ooh, you're gonna you have to it? tell me about this later. I'll ask Apollo for all the juicy details. When I heard you didn't discriminate against animals, I knew you'd hear me out. I have to warn you, though, I don't know anything about orcas. I mean, they don't eat people, do they? Yikes! I think I made her mad. And when have you talked that way in front of Orla? Orcas have feelings too, you know. I mean, yes, but also like, chill. Yeah, yeah. boss, they have emotions just like we do. Oh wait, if Athena's saying it, then it's actually true. Shit. <laughs> At least in the game. <laughs> Sorry, is anger the only feeling I inspire in woman? What does that mean? What did they mean by this? <laughs> what, well, what does that mean? I'm suits. Don't I'm worry. Suits. She says she forgives you. That's a bull. Oh, the bull was replaced by an entire orca. Besides, orcas are very picky eaters. Orla here only eats fish. The captain went to feed Orla this morning, and then he was found dead in this very room. Could you tell us more about his death? So the owner of the aquarium, Jack Shipley, was discovered murdered. Yeah, it was about 10.10 10 this morning, just after the aquarium opened. A visitor was viewing the orca pool from the visitor's corridor and screamed. The orca pool is this tank here. Yeah, that's right. The pool is built so the guests can see into it from the corridor on the first floor. So we're on the second floor right now, I guess, then. Okay, that's good to know. The security guard and I heard the scream and came running into the pool room. Where we found the captain dead at the side of the pool in his swashbuckler costume. He was as big and tough as an old crocodile, the captain. I still can't believe he's dead. There's not been a single character yet for you to voice, nope. but we'll figure it out. We'll find <laughs> them. Would... Yeah, but by now I thought maybe... With the client being an animal. I've literally voiced like four characters together at this point. Because <laughs> Fulbright's here. Oh, no. Mr. Shipley was very important to you, wasn't he? Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sad goldfish on you. What? Hmm? Why did she just throw the word goldfish into that sentence? I couldn't tell you. Oh, sad goldfish on you. Sad goldfish? I'm glad you know this. Okay, time to snap her out of it. Fuck off. When it's showtime, it's time to smile. That's what the captain always said. By the way, do you know why exactly Orla is being accused of the crime? Why is all low cute? Let's save again. Just because I just don't yeah. trust. I really just don't trust Blue Stacks. I'm so paranoid now. What the fuck? Ah. To move on to GA so we never have to. Yeah, we will have to absolutely. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna. Alright, why is Ola accused? There we go. Sorry, I just had a message directly oh, via Discord. Oh. That was a noise, to be sure. Can you think of any reason why Orla would come under suspicion? The police think Orla went berserk during a practice for the Swashbuckler Spectacular. But Orla would never do anything like that. Right, Orla? <gasps> ah! I love this. This is the best. I love her. I, I want to hug Orla, for real. She just teleports to the back. I know. Oh, isn't she adorable? Look, just look at that face. The charges have to be false. I hate to break it to you, but the police don't usually base its decisions on cuteness. That's right. We base them on facts. Take a look at this. Uh, excuse me? A photo of the victim, huh? He's got a wound on his head. Yeah, what? Okay, is it a bludgeoning wound? Like, what is that? That's the real question. <laughs> Very perceptive. The victim and the orca were the only ones here. What's more, we couldn't find a weapon of any kind around. Okay. 
Okay. So, what's the theory on how Orla supposedly killed the victim? They say orcas sometimes kill their prey by ramming into them underwater. We believe the orca did that just that by pulling the victim into this 65-foot pool and then ramming him while they were in the water. Wow, red screen of death. So sad. Hmm, without any suspects besides Orla, this could be one tough case. Well, we have the diagram now, that's good. No official autopsy has been ordered, but an orca attack makes sense. Why hasn't one been ordered? Accidental death due to a failure to exercise proper oversight over an animal. The medical examiner said it wasn't a homicide, so we don't need an autopsy. So all this is going to be put down without a proper investigation? That isn't fair. That's something short of police negligence, Detective Fulbright. The incident wasn't determined a homicide, so there's nothing we can do, Ms. Sykes. Ordinarily, the owner of the aquarium would be held responsible for the oversight failure. But the owner is the victim himself, so all we can do is hold the orca responsible. Phoenix, isn't there anything you can do? They're gonna put Orla down! Sasha and Orla are depending on me. I want to do everything I can to help them. Damn, I'm just really just like spitting out lines. I, I apologize in advance when I start reading out someone else's lines completely by accident just because I'm so used to like seeing text and reading it at this point. My, like, <laughs> that, that's the problem. Is there text? Every I will you read see it. Is a word you have to read. Yeah. yeah. But how do I help an orca? Wait. Yes, I can do this. Oh my god. Um. What am I. Huh? Set all the free! Set all the free! Be free, Willy! I'm not doing that. <laughs> I feel like that's the one option I shouldn't pick. I want to pick it just to see what people would say. I did say, if you know what, let's do it. I'll set Orla free. Okay, I'll go open the water gate. If you think I'll just let you set the suspect free, you've got another thing coming! <laughs> Pollux to you, punk! What is, is that a Pollux type of fish? I guess until I can actually try to prove Orla's innocence. I can't truly really say I'll set her free, which means... Yes, I can do that. Right. I got my badge back now, so I... Why were there two... Why, why was that a three-option thing, though, for real? Like, why... I don't know. What's the point? That was, just seems like such an unintelligent use of the game design. Because you're playing the game now, yeah. for real. Yeah, lol, I'm playing the video game. I've actually made decisions, Lamau. I got my badge back now, so I know exactly what I have to do. I'll defend Orla in court. Huh? Even an orca deserves a fair try. <laughs> if the one responsible is for Orla is dead, then I'll take responsibility for her. The fucking objection music is playing right now. <laughs> You'll... What? I guess doing crazy things just once in your career wasn't enough, huh? But what the heck? I'll take responsibility for her too. Are you two insane? This is a case of accidental death caused by an animal. It's not a murder case. With no evidence of foul play, this case will never go to court. Then let us investigate the crime scene. If we can prove this was a murder, we might be able to take it to a trial. And then Orla would certainly need the help of a few good lawyers. Hmm, I guess so. But who's ever heard of a trial for a killer way? Just because it's never been done before doesn't mean we can't do it now. But... Hmm... Please, Detective Fulbright, for justice's sake! You're invoking the name of justice. Oh no. The police have determined that an animal that has harmed a human should be put down. But I don't know for sure whether that was a just decision. If your sense of justice compels you to take on the defense of this animal... Then my sense of justice tells me to let this case be re-examined for possible merit. You mean it? Really? That's fantastic! You're not such a bad guy, <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> ah! Poorly aged sentences. <laughs> Poorly aged sentences. Just remember, this case hasn't been officially recognized as a homicide yet. I'll get in touch with the prosecutor's office, but I'm not making any promises. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't actually say I'm getting in touch with the promises office, but I'm not making any <laughs> prosecutors. Anyway, I had better be off. Yep, just fades out of existence, like the as Phantom. He always does. <gasps> You two are a lifeboat. I'll be right here if you need me. 
Thanks. I've got a feeling we'll really need your help with this investigation. We're still not sure if it'll go to trial. Oh, God. Too much talking, so much yawning now. Damn it. Well, it's a good trial, but as all as lawyers, we'll do everything we can. To get this case into court, we'll need a prosecutor to make an indictment. So we have to find enough evidence to prove it's a criminal case. There just has to be something that shows the culprit was somebody other than Orla. Hmm. Dr. Fulbright said there were no weapons in the area other than her. So we'd better look for something to prove him wrong. I'd better make a note of that so I don't forget. You sure I organized, boss? Maybe I should get a notebook of my own. Oh yeah, the notes feature that was like, that never fucking showed up except in the, the, the Themis case. Yep. Yeah. I just like to jot down notes on the case in the court record as I go along. We can use it as a sort of to-do list. Ooh. Great idea. I'll add things too, and whenever we're stuck, we can just refer to the notes. Actually, no, it did show up in the... It was in the the, the Yokai case as well as yes. um, the Themis case, but I feel, like, I feel like it wasn't in either of the other two cases, to be honest. I remember, like, looking for the button and not seeing it at that mm. point. To read the notes, I just opened the court record by tapping on the panel. And I can view my notes by tapping on the bottom tab. There, no jotted. Now let's investigate this crime scene. Has to be some evidence here we can use in court. Alright, were you about to say? No. No? Nothing? Alright. Examining the crime scene from every angle is the key here. Yo, 360! It'll be great. Woo. That's right, if we change our perspective, we might come across new evidence. I suppose sliding the screen will move the cursor on the camera. Or I can do it the old-fashioned way and tap the arrows to change my perspective. Or if there's a particular spot that's got your attention, get right up to it and look away. Like an outline of the body in the far right there. Of course, talking to everybody involved is one of the keys to good investigate. Guys, are you assuming we don't know how to play the fucking game? This is DLC! Yeah, but Come like... <sighs> no, I'm getting... I'm angry as well. Yeah, like... Like, it's like... It's insane. Like, whether we play it in the middle of or after, like, there's no reason we should play this first. Especially yeah. considering it doesn't even, at least in this version, doesn't even unlock until, like, we've beaten the rest of the game. <laughs> madness. Absolute madness. And if we present items to people, we might learn even more. Right, it all boils down to thorough legwork. Well, let's get started. How <sighs> so much talking? It's been six minutes since I BSS'd, so... And now... Nearly seven minutes. Whoa. You know? Would have been crazy if I'd done that without... Alright, I Baby. guess let's look at the Bodhi. Oh, you said it. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> it's too far away to get a good look. I'd better get a little closer first. Really? Yes! Investigate the Orca. Oh. Is that show makeup above Orla's eye? That's right, it's a starfish. Kinda makes you look like a punk rockin' pirate, don't you think? A punk rock pirate killer whale. It's official, society's on the road to ruin. No, a phoenix, I assure you, this is not... This is not, I mean... Unless this is a spot of capitalism at its finest, but, you know... I don't know, I can't I tell it's anymore. Cool. I think it's cool. It's not, it's not bad, it's just like insane, but still. Yes. Well, I think Ola is one hot rockfish. What does that mean? <laughs> Speaking of rocking, how do you get Ola to do what you want during the show? Rockfish is that, like, insanely deadly and ugly fish. Damn. That's hey. unfortunate. You, if you step on, it's painful. Ah. I give her Wait. signals with this whistle. What are you doing? Why? Is, it, is that? Yeah, this guy. Oh, no. I'm scared. I'm not going to send it. Okay. I'm just Googling. Oh god, the signals with the whistle. That's a... <laughs> slap. Wet slapping noises. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I didn't hear anything just now. The sound's out of the range of human hearing, just like a dog whistle. Orcas have better hearing than people do. They can even hear the whistle underwater. That's actually pretty impressive. That's so cool. I wish I could give commands to Orla. Anybody can do that. All they'd have to do is learn the signals. Here, Athena, you can have one of our whistles. Consider it a present. Why would you do that? Also, here's a here's a photograph of it for no reason. It won't come up later. Anyone can use one to command her as long as they know the right signals. Hmm. 
G. Oh, okay, well. So I think Orla is the murder weapon, but by someone else, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. You okay, Ben? Okay. Ugh. G, thanks. As for the extra commands, I'm afraid I can't teach them to you. They're top secret. Oh. I see. Let's find out about more about this insane object. Oh, it's real. Yikes, look at that huge octopus. It must be a show prop too. One of its legs is missing though. Wouldn't it be exciting to take on a huge enemy like that? Giant enemy octopus. It's not no to crab. Whoa. It's no crab. If only. Giant enemy crab. If only. I'd like to give it a I'd like to give it a try myself. As a lawyer, that is. You know you have an insufficient number of limbs to out object out object it, right? No one can provide as many objections as an octopus. <laughs> It's all down to the number of arms you got. You already got me on the bone. There's a piece of meat and a plastic hoop suspended from the ceiling. T talk about a clashy decor. Decor, whatever. I guess Ola really likes meat. You knew they <laughs> fed her such large chunks, though. Uh, all of us are carnivores. You knew that, right? Of course, silly. De Opposite of night or. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, of course, silly, and I love meat too. Protein is your body's basic building block, after all. That is a that feels like a tongue twister, even though it makes absolute sense. Basic but that, building block. But that meat is made out of rubber. I doubt Orla could really eat it, even if she wanted to. You mean to tell me she jumps all the way up there and doesn't get her reward? The poor girl. After all that effort. <laughs> I don't think Orla is as dumb as you think she is. Yeah. Athena, geez, how rude. What? Oh, art. Orca fun facts. Fun fact! Let's look at the hooks, just in case. You never know. Uh, yeah. Hey, I mean, after all, hooks were the case in, um, were important to the case in, um, the third game. Can I have some cola? <laughs> but, but I have to... Oh. Oh. Yay! Thank you, babe. Let's go. Cola delivery service. I'm excited. You have cola. You have cola. Hey, look! There's an apparatus here to hang from. Whoa. That's great. I don't think it's for people to hang from. It looks more like a crane to move things with. But Sasha was hanging from it during the Swashbuckler Spectacular. I bet there are all kinds of ways to use it, not just to move things. Come on, boss. Try thinking outside the box. Is she trying to say I have a narrow-minded view of things? I, I, I don't know, I guess. Thank you, Bane. Light? Huh? Kitchen light? Oh, I'm living out on because I've got chicken cooking. Ah, understandable. Chicken cooking. Chicken cooking. Chicken cooking. Who doesn't love a good bit of a chicken cooking? Yum, yum, yum. It's like a bit of ikabukum, you know? Bringing back the classics from earlier this year, I think. I think it was Wasn't last year. Long? Okay. No. It's funny because there was. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's last year because it was um on a Badger video from last year at the very end of it. He said, "Now, excuse, ah. excuse me, I'm going to go watch Ikan Book of Memes until my eyes bleed." And I'm like, "That is <laughs> perfect. That is perfection itself." Ikan Book of Memes. Ikan Book of A setting sun. Sunsets always remind me of how quickly the days go by. <laughs> How could you <laughs> Let the orca hold me down. <laughs> Underwater <laughs> drown, die, die. Mm. Since that's the assumption of the case, anyway. But it'll be wrong, or something, or maybe not, who knows. <laughs> oh, boss, it's just a painted backdrop, you know. <laughs> this is not my beautiful attorney's badge. <laughs> 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 oh, down, Athena, of course I know. I guess. I guess they use it for the Swashbuckler Spectacular. Did he just say down, Athena? Yeah. Male ass dude. <laughs> Male Please. ass dude. Yeah. It looks handmade. Oh, I, I just got an idea. Why don't we make our own not guilty backdrop? What does that mean, Athena? <laughs> and present it to the judge when things aren't going our way? 
No, we put psychological pressure on the judge by hanging it behind the defendant. I almost want to see how the judge would respond to that. Yo, actually, I do too now that I think about it. Hang on, let me, let, let me, I just realized something very important we haven't done yet. Oh my god. Sorry, sea creatures are the only things I know anything about. She doesn't even have a response to the fucking badge. I'm so disappointed. That's alright. Don't worry about it. Gee, I didn't mean to put her in a funk. Actually, let's learn about this real quick. Do you two want to be in the Swashbuckler Spectacular? You have regular people to participate? Of course! We even have a special tour for people who want to be in it. What roles would we play if we said yes? Let's see. The roles of a blue seahorse and a yellow sea slug are available. Judging by the colors, I must be the seahorse. And I'm the sea slug? No way! I won't do it! But sea slugs are all fluttery and beautiful, Athena. They're... Be beautiful? In that case, I'll do it! <laughs> Her mind is pretty much an open book. Haha! <laughs> I hope we can do a show together someday. God. I was actually hoping we'd get information about this, like, new show, since it's, like, the point. Brand new. But, like, we got a weird aside about how, you know, alright, cool, whatever, it's fine. Cool. Anyway, let's um, let's quickly save and then continue looking around the room because there's still more to see, <gasps> more to see, more to be. If, if Tats was here, he'd make a Family Guy joke. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> Bro, they got cannons. I just was like, a, what you said was funny, and b, at the exact moment I saw this goddamn monstrosity. <laughs> Shark cannon. Shark cannon. It's like a new Pokemon Ooh. or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a mess! Was all this stuff knocked over when the victim struggle when the victim struggled with his killer? Oh, oh. It's possible, but it would be hard to prove. In before the actual vetting process, on like the dialogue for the DLC is just like lower quality overall. Oh, That's no. fine. I, I mean, you know, it, it's, it would be fine if so, but it would be like then. outsource DLC. Outsource, outsource. <laughs> That would be hard to prove. Let's take a closer look, shall we? <gasps> what is that? Huh? Look at all this stuff scattered everywhere. I see some swords. I wonder if they have anything to do with the case. They're made of rubber. I doubt they could be used as a weapon. But I still bet if someone got whapped with one, it would sting quite a bit. Yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> but I think I could stand the pain. Yeah, good for you. Oh look, there's a blow-up dolphin and an anchor too. Mr. Wright, are you even listening to me? Stop looking at those toys. Yikes, guess I've been caught red-faced. What? What is going on? I just want to know what's underneath that goddamn crate though. Fuck? It's like a, a source engine commentary in dev node. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's such a specific bull, I love it. <laughs> but you're absolutely right at the same time. Same colors and shape. Not the same shape. I assure you, they're more square. Oh. I've I've played I've played Half Life Two Episode Two Dev Mode. Come on, man, Dev Commentary Mode. I've done it. Okay, fair enough. I like that they have that developer commentary stuff. Honestly, it's pretty cool. It's so much fun. Yeah. Can't wait to play the um the Alex commentary. Wait, is that an actual thing or? Yeah, they added it uh, <gasps> post release. That's really cool. What the hell? Yeah. I want to know about that. Yo. Oh, that's, that's probably, cool. like, recorded if you just want to watch it. That's true. But, uh, have you actually seen the game yet? Um, I've seen... I want to say... Hmm, I don't know. I want to say about half of the game, maybe. Because I was watching um, yeah, PewDiePie play it, and then I just stopped watching PewDiePie altogether. Um, just, but, um... Yeah, I just need to watch someone play it, but I don't know who I'd pick otherwise. Mm. I'm, like, waiting patiently until I upgrade my VR to actually play the game I would like I would like hang out and watch yeah. you play it like for real I would I would I love to I'm do that I once I move out so it's gonna be quite a bit oh god alright yeah that's that's fair that's um yeah that'll yeah, be, be down. that'd be cool mm. oh, so this is where the body was found huh if they suspect Euler maybe they found some evidence of an attack on the victim 
Orla didn't attack the captain, she loved him! The captain rescued Orla when she was little, after she got beached on the shore. And that actually is impressive that he let that, that's, that's his story. Oh, wow. He tried to release her into the ocean, but she kept coming back. I can tell Orla's sad about losing the captain. She's just not her usual chip herself. Orla must really love this aquarium and the captain. She's the only one around here big and strong enough to play with the big, tough captain. Every day, she made a point of headbutting him and stealing his hat. Oh. Yikes, I guess you weren't kidding when you said the captain was really a strong guy. Yeah, I mean, if he can take headbutts from a goddamn orca all the time. That's it? That's it. You did it. I didn't even inspect the shark cannon. Oh. I guess it means it's not relevant. We know now that of the things we've looked at, the shark cannon is not relevant. The octopus might be. The octopus might be, actually, because it's missing a limb. Ooh, true. Mm. And it's, like, in a lowered state, so it's entirely possible that just... The captain was bapped on the head with the fucking octopus or whatever and then drowned. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's got that, like, marker in the back of his head that they, like, he's been hit some by something. Might have been mm. one of these. Who knows? Can you even move the octopus, though? Like, how does that... Come? It's all puppetry. Oh. Like... Yeah, he's got, like, a... You know, he's been hit by something there, obviously. <gasps> and the marking has the same colour as the octopus. No, it's blood, you idiot. Oh. <laughs> I, you know, at least I think it's blood. Look, it's probably yeah, that, blood. That was the, that was the That's true. You know, I, I hope this isn't Chris's blood, though. <gasps> <laughs> Joke made. Fuck you. I what? figured out how to worm it in. <laughs> I, I guess that's about it. Resi mm -hmm. I could make a Resi 1 references. That's the only line I know. Well, the thing is, let's not forget, if the captain was actually crushed, then he was almost the captain's sandwich. <laughs> Yeah. Under different circumstances, I would have loved to see the Swashbuckler Spectacular. The three of us always performed the show together. Me, Orla, and the Captain. Today's show has been cancelled, but we could put on a little performance for you now. You don't really have to do that. It's, it's fine. It's too late. We get like a fully animated sequence. Yo, this is actually hype. Do we? We cap normal the swashbucklers, me buckos. We love to sail the seven seas. We've come to rout that mangy, blaggard, dread pirate, no stash. A vast, there he be, no stash himself. Prepare to feed the fish. Um, am I playing the role of no stash? Well, Sasha has a stash, and you don't, so I guess, so. Hit him with your water cannon, Captain, and spare no quarter. Oh no. Phoenix is going to get fucking killed. <laughs> Ace Attorney 5, Phoenix fucking dies. <laughs> oh no, it's that song from before. What? <laughs> that was it. Hello? <laughs> Oh, it was the song. It was the song, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Your performance packed quite a wallop. Yeah, I, for one, feel like I took quite a beating. Sorry about that. Can't have a show without a bad guy role, right? But a singing orca, huh? It must have been tough to train her to do that. That's Orla's best trick. She can only sing one song, though. Well, she's still got one up on a pianist who can't play even one song. <laughs> Well, now that we've had a taste of the show, we better do some investigating. Good idea. Let's go to the Aqua Tunnel. Is there literally nowhere else to go? Like, is it just here on the Aqua Tunnel? That's it? That's Aqu place. That's it. This place is two places. Well. <laughs> oh. Imagine if you went to a crib and it was just like, just an orca. <laughs> That's it. Cool. It's like, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock. That's all we've got. Um. Hmm. Just... Alright. I guess we already checked this out, but no harm in giving it another look, because I was thinking, like, do we just look at the cannon? I want to look at the cannon. I almost want to see what's all. 
There's, there's hats and a ring. And danger signs. How is these not important? Fuck. We just happened to click the right things. I hate it. Looks like the control panel for that crane apparatus. There sure are a lot of buttons. When I see this many buttons, I start to get fidgety. That's ter that's terrifying, Athena. Please don't. Speaking fidget. I know what you mean. Oh, you start fidget. itching to push them, right? Oh no. <laughs> now I start itching to make a psychological study of people who want to push buttons. Need I remind you that I am your boss, not your guinea pig. <laughs> What's the wanted post? I must know. Like, who doesn't tell me. Nobody. Well, let's look at the the the, the shark, shark cannon. Shark. Hey, there's a cannon in the shape of a shark. I'd love to try firing that thing. Boom! Are these cannonballs supposed to look like fish eggs or something? They kind of do, yeah. They're dragon balls. <laughs> hmm, but why fish eggs? Why not baby sharks? <clears throat> Think about how crazy it would be to have sharks go flying through the air. Watch the thrilling life or death struggle as the little tykes fight to stay alive out of water. I can see it now. The drama, the mayhem, the whirlwind of teeth. A tornado of sharks? Not even Hollywood could conjure up something that insane. <laughs> Are you... Wait. How did they Hang on. Baby Shark and Sharknado into a single... Hang on. Fucking... Hang on. Sharknado came out in 2013. Okay. Wait. Release date 1, July 11th, 2013. Um, English release date of, of this game was August 14th. Yeah, this is a, that, that, the, that localization is a direct reference to Sharknado, 100%. Because yeah. the, the original game, like the original game, not even including the... Um, the the, the the DLC case, you know, was out, like, after Sharknado, so... Right. So, yeah. That's <laughs> insane. God. By the way, uh, Sharknado has uh, one and a half stars. As it should. It's terrible. How many are there, even? There's six what do you mean, them. how many? There's six There's more them. than one? There's six... <laughs> I, I feel like I remember someone mentioning um, that in one of them, someone has like a chainsaw and goes up into the, the tornado. The shark. <laughs> God. It's a fucking stupid. If you I told love... me there were multiple and I had to guess, I would say like three, not six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I thought there was only three as well. God. Ugh. I'm just... Ugh. Ugh. It's terrifying that, that, they, that they were allowed to get away with that. <laughs> yeah. All right, where else can we go? It's literally just the aqua tunnel is the only other place. Time to go to aqua. Aqua tunnel. Let's save the game because again, I am now hi hyper paranoid that we that everything will just crash. Well. There he is, the murderer himself. <laughs> There's no way, I know he's not responsible for this case, but still, you know. Yeah. So, you all done investigating the pool already? We had a good look around, but now we're moving on to other areas. How is the police investigation going? Did you, say, for example, find any other suspects per signed order? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fortunate for you if we did, but no, I'm afraid not. And even more unfortunate for you. I'm afraid we found decisive evidence of the orca's guilt. Oh, shit. No. What? Please tell us more, detective. Well, there you go. Orca Free. did it. <sighs> so what's this decisive evidence? Don't hold it out on us now, Detective Fulbright. I'm very sorry, but I can't share classified information with the defense. Wow, that really... Like, this really does put into perspective how insane it was that he was, like, willing to tell all in, um, the space case. Yeah, and they were just real. like, yeah. Especially not security footage that shows the moment the orca attacked the victim. Yup, I'm to personally see to it that this baby stays safe. It will never leave my side. Damn. I and bet- I, it will never. I, 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 I bet he, uh, I bet he, uh, felt real bad when he was like, Oh, Simon did that to me, huh? Feels bad. The whole, like, the psych profile. Yeah. Put 
policeman. Oh. <laughs> Please and thank you. That's a call for you, detective. I'll be right there. Sorry, guys. You know how it is. And he left the bond. Well, he never said that he wouldn't leave its side, I guess. Now let's sneak a peek. He absolutely left it behind. Oh, was that the witness, I guess? That person. Oh, it was the fin for all. Well, what the? Is this supposed to be the moment Orla attacked the victim? Security footage. No. 10 so the bit of footage doesn't prove anything. I agree. I believe in Orla and Sasha. Let's just continue with our investigation. Good idea. Huh? There's a sticker on this camera that says, Return to the Pub of Danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody there manages the cameras? So let's check it out later. <laughs> Sorry about that. Prosecutor Blackwell called to remind me to go feed Taka. <laughs> so where were we? Oh, that's right. You two got any more questions for me? Uh, no, we're good. Thank you for leaking all your info. I love that, like, just the juxtaposition of, like, the insane and somehow super incompetent Bobby Fulbright with the in the the deadly capable Phantom. Yeah, it's just like, like it's honestly probably the weakest point of this game. But you think so? Yeah, I think but it's I, I think it's fun. I I really like just like it. It's just so... It definitely, like, is a, a big surprise and a fun twist. Yeah. Like, I mean, you didn't see it coming at all, did you? No way. And then the, the more I played this game, the more I was like, oh my god, I can't believe how well they're hiding this. Yeah. Like, all through Space Attorney and everything, and then when they just, you know, even when he was off a bit, it was just like, you know, he was right back to it. Mm. Incredible. Anyway, yeah. Bobby Bob Bright. Um, Bobby Bob Bob. Bumby bum bit. The O danger. I see. I see. There is a little walrus. Oh, there's a little fish tank here. That's cute. In the middle. That reminds me of I went to an aquarium once and there was like, kind of like a fish tank like that, which you were allowed to poke around in. It was that's, so much fun. That's very cool. Ship Ship Aquarium, Pub of Danger. This looks like one of those hands-on exhibits. It has a real air of danger, don't you think? Danger! I tried to point out that the giant, like, shark or whatever, the crocodile skeleton is holding a bottle. <gasps> I just, I just yeah. noticed the jellyfish as well! Yo, that's actually sick! Oh my god. That is actually fucking cool. Jellyfish in a bottle. Jelly in a bottle. Well, the banner does say it's the pub o' danger. Let's see. According to the description, this room is... A pub where pirates gather, explore, and interact with sea creatures. Actually oh. feel the electricity of electric eels and feed real piranhas. Experience the terror of the seas with these dangerous experiments. All those sounds less like terror and more like torture to me. You. Uh, um, I'd like to thank you for keeping it down in there, blue boy. I'm conducting an experiment. Oh, it is Finn Patel. Do not disturb me, unless you wish to be zapped with an electric eel. Perfect. Honestly, perfect. I'm that. That's that. That is the perfect voice. <laughs> My you. apologies, ma'am. Wow, she seems intense. And she, uh, did you notice, by the way, her like scarf was like blowing in the wind? I bet there's no wind in here. <laughs> Excuse me, but who are you? <laughs> Still. <playing. laughs> Ask, shouldn't you give your name first? Basic manners, young lady. Oh, yes, of course. My name is... Never mind. I will simply call you Yellow Girl. It is easier that way. I'm no, I am a Norma de Plume. I'm very interested in Ship Ship Aquarium. I'm a frequent visitor here. What's the bet she did it? <laughs> What's the bet? She was a witness. How could she have done it? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Video. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That's it right there. Yeah, there's nothing to say that she's not holding a whistle right there. In that oh, angle. maybe. You know what? You got a good point. The scarf is incredible. I love it so much. <laughs> 
But I don't want to be Yellow Girl. You think I want to be called Blue Boy? <sighs> Let's just see what she has to say. <sighs> the first and very most important thing we must do, as usual, is the ever-present and always important badge. Your badge. You have no interest in looking at the meaningless trifles. I didn't give you a trifle, as, I gave you a badge. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in looking at you, blue boy. What? So now I'm a meaningless trifle too? Damn. Damn. You know what they say, do not trifle with me, worm. <laughs> that is a that is a Chaos Lord quote from Dawn of War. There you go, that's your welcome. Nice! Nice! You say you're interested in the aquarium, but you don't look like a staff member. Hmm. Let's see. I've got it. You're someone completely unrelated to this aquarium. Well, no shit, Athena. Thanks. Thank you, Bean. <laughs> I received a chicken. I need sauces, though. Damn it. I probably have to get them no. myself, which is fine. You know what? It's fine. Bean brought me the actual food. I'll go get myself some sauces. You gotta read your lines from across the room. What? I've got it. Wait, no, I read the line. Oh. I said thanks, Athena. Oh, Bean got me the sauces as well. Oh, oh, Bean, I love you. I'm bowing and praying and saluting at once. <laughs> Lucas says he is bowing and praying and saluting all at once. Her response was a cute giggle. Perfect, <laughs> Perfect Bean moments. Uh, Top ten Bean moments. <laughs> That's some deductive reasoning there, champ. That's basically what I said, but you know, Bruder. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, a patron, a customer, a guest, and what might you be? She's looking at us in distaste. I'm not a what, I'm a lawyer. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. And I run a law office. Well, whatever you are, I don't have the slightest interest. There's a lie. You have all of the interest in the world. No. I, I have a care. whole bunch of, um, I have now a whole bunch of QP next to my chicken. Yo, that's cool. QP is good stuff, and it turns out it actually lasts forever in the fridge, just like, just, all you need to do is just keep it closed in the fridge, and it still, like, lasts until it's, like, best before date. It's insane. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's very crazy. But very cool. Mayor. Grr, just who does she think she is, boss? A visitor, a patron, a customer, a guest, remember? Yes. Hey, Norma, you ever wonder why you're here? <laughs> nice. I thought they closed the aquarium and weren't letting members of the public in. Oh, but they have special permission, you see. And why exactly is that, if I may ask? Well, because I'm the ins- Oh, heavens. I said too much. I remember this. Cyclox. What do you mean you remember this? You just saw them on fucking Christoph Gavin, like, less than a year ago. We don't know when it's time. Oh, right, true. That would be for before. Mm, actually, wait. Yeah, no, definitely. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Psychedelic rock? Cyborg clocks? What? <laughs> Thanks, Athena. No, no. Cyclox. It's the power of this Magatama. Yo, we got the DS music. It gives me the ability to see the secrets locked away in somebody's heart. It's good stuff. I'm actually really glad. Oh. This, this music is perfect. It's great. If I can remove the locks, I can uncover their secrets. I feel like it's a slightly higher res version of the music. I don't know if that makes any sense in terms of yeah, music. Like I, don't know, I don't know if that's... <gasps> yeah. Sample is very quality. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely like done to be in the style of it very mm. like closely, but... Is is higher res the like terminology for music? I don't know. I mean, basically. Normally you wouldn't, you wouldn't say resolution. Yeah, but like, that's what I'm wondering. Since you're the person who actually makes music and, you know, knows. Uh... I don't know, I guess you'd say, like, the bitrate is better. No, that works, that makes sense. Mmm. Mmm. Shim shim. Shim shim. Nope. I didn't read that. 
I didn't know you had a magical item like that. It looks like this lady knows something about what happened. I'll just use my Magatama to un and undo her Cyclops. Huh? I can't see the locks anymore. Huh? The color of that stone looks different from before. What? Oh. Uh. That's funny. Maybe it's just out of juice. It can do that? Yeah, a certain girl I know poured her spiritual power into it for me. Without that power, I can't undo the Cyclox. No way. Oh, so that's why Pearl is relevant. Oh. Huh. Why do I have to keep quiet about it? Why do I have to keep quiet about it anyway? I've never been good at keeping secrets. I did promise it to her, so I guess I had better keep my mouth shut. Who did you promise what to? No comment. Now go away. I was really hoping that would work. <sighs> Just when I thought we could find out more about the case. Let's go try and find some other way. I'm sure we'll find something. Actually, don't forget, there's also that um, Spike Spieglass-looking dude. Okay. You know the one. Right now. Hmm? Researching what? Spike Spiegel. Cowboy Bebop. Oh, that was an interesting order complete. Thanks, YouTube. What was this? <laughs> Certain event that uh, Spike goes through. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I, I dip, dip plume line. I don't trust that thing under my nose. I won't watch it. Are you usually pretty photogenic, Mr. Plume? Of course I am. I've been compared to a movie star. A little wonder with my perfect makeup and stylish figure. Wouldn't you agree? I actually would. You know what? Like, unironically. I yeah, would agree. Good, uh, yeah. Maybe Hollywood, Hollywood look. She really does. I, I, th I feel like it's meant to be played for laugh because of her size, but you know what? No, I'm actually like, she's cool. In that yeah, we'll take it. She wants me to agree? Let's get a woman's opinion on this one. Why is. What? You're asking me? Well, uh, let's see. I do think you're very pretty, Ms. De Plume. Hmm. I get the distinct impression your words are full of hidden meaning. Well, I wouldn't say full so much as full-figured. Athena, please. What is this? Come on, game. Please. Athena, I'd stop right there if I were you. That's so rude. What the fuck, game? Disappointing. Maybe they really did swap the writers out. <laughs> mm, they must have. I don't know. There's nothing really else to present to her. Is there anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. What do we do? Um. Also, why'd you, why was your instinct to go to, like, like YouTube when I said Spike Spiegel instead of, you know, Google Images? No, I wanted to see the voice. <laughs> oh. I see. But it's just a regular guy. It's Steve <laughs> Blum. Weird. Steve Blum? Yeah. I'm serious. Spike Spiegel is voiced by Steve Blum. Wow. You didn't know that? Oh my god. I'm so glad I got to teach you that. Yeah. The Cowboy Bebop English dub is so good that even people in Japan watch it because they like it more. Holy shit. It's considered to have more emotion, like, more emotional quality through it than the Japanese dub. That rocks. I know, right? Also, it's very fucking good. Just, even without all of that extra, I just, I, I've watched it and I think it's very good. Yes, Where are we supposed to go it. now? What do we do? Maybe we'll meet Pell back at the, uh... The tunnel? Agency? Or oh, the agency. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. That works. Something new happening here is always good. Aquarium Tonnel. Hey, Detective Fulbright's gone. It looks like the police investigation is over too. That's too bad. I was hoping to get a little more out of him. 
Yo, yo, ho, ho, ho. Cleaner. No, uh, Peter? That's right. Yo, girl, why are you hiding from me? I'm searching all around like this has been a bad dream. Is that somebody rapping? Cool. Raffleo, sometimes make me so mad. Your raffle just come back to me. We can be summoned together and sing Cree Cree Cree. Hey, what was that first line? Raffleo. Just, I, I don't know what his... All right. Cool. Cool. Because what is this character? Game for these characters that are like definitely normal and not weird. Yeah. Well, you know, but cheers to Chase Attorney. Weird happens a lot. Mm hmm. All the time. What's with this guy rapping and making strange bird sounds? Yikes! Who's who's there? You didn't hear me rapping, did you? Did you? Yeah, well, maybe. Uh, look, just do me a favor and pretend you didn't hear nothing. Fine by us, and who might you be? I'm Mal Marlon Rhymes. I'm an animal keeper here. Oh, finally I understand. Okay. On, um... And, um... What's the word? One of the songs from this game i think it's the it's either the objection theme or the cross-examination theme where um um it's the top comment on the like extended version is all i can see when i hear this is marlon rhymes dancing and i'm like finally i know who this is oh hell yeah i'm excited <laughs> it's a fucking employee badge with the gold chain <laughs> think that's true nice it's great you know what we we, we stand But the aquarium's already closed today, um, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure? You don't sound too certain. Oh, are you new here or something? Wow, yeah, that's right. Pretty good guess. I hope he didn't so, do it. Who are you guys? I hope, I, hope, I hope he is just like a random, just yeah, be a random dude, because I, I, I think this guy is awesome. Mm -hmm. He's a bit of a dork and I like it, you know, I'm into it. Yeah. Oh, the gold chain is probably like because the whole point is, you know, they're pirates, do we? Oh, true. It actually makes sense in, in that context. Mm hmm. I'm Phoenix Wright. And I'm Athena Sykes. We're lawyers and we're going to represent Orla by taking her case to court and proving she's innocent. Are you serious? Wouldn't it have been an orca in court? <laughs> oh, but if you're for Orla. I must make you friends of short Sasha's. Sasha. Sorry if I came across rude. Sasha. Come Sasha. On, wow. That's just the name I call her. It's pretty cool. Sounds like he's friends with Sasha. Sometimes when I'm by myself, I like to rap to pass time. Especially when I'm around the animals I love. Okay, yeah, he just sounds like a good dude. Yeah. Oh, I love animals too, especially marine creatures like dolphins. Yo, actually, you know what? She speaks for me in this instance. Dolphin's great. Dolphin's great too. I just, just like I do like just all animals. Phoenix, stop being weird. I like marine creatures too, but just the ones you can eat. What a guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, people who like animals are good people. That's what I always say. It's true. It's usually true. Usually, not always. True. Is there anything I can do for you two? Just say the word. You're sort of working here, though, so I don't know how much I can help I can be, how much help I can be. Sorry, man. It's all right. It's all right, my dude. You're good. <laughs> okay. We like you. Mr. Rhymes seems pretty friendly. Oh, because Marlon rhymes is because he rhymes, he raps. I see. Mm -hmm. There you go. Imagine, mm -hmm. imagine just thinking that right now. Damn. I was thinking of the game rhyme. But that works, too. Huh, okay. That could work. Sure, and the Marlin, the, the, the Marlin is a fish, is why Marlin rhymes. Um, yeah, friendly and agreeable. Him. We like him. Oh yeah, this um, this theme, the, you know, this because this is the same theme we got while dealing with um, Phineas and a bunch of other characters, and it's called like, oh, yeah. it's called like weird people or something. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that, that's about right. I'm new here, so I don't know. I don't really think being new here has anything to do with it in this instance. Because I presented my attorney's badge. Yep. 
Feels bad. Nope. That's the the whistle. I figured the whistle might be good. You don't but this one. With this flyer, you can get a penguin sleep mask the next time you come in. Penguin sleep mask. Not, sleep mask. Not man. a penguin sleep mask. Man, I would love penguin. I would love to experience penguin sleep. The eternal slumber. <laughs> the eternal slumber of the penguin. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be nice, especially if it's free. That'd be perfect for taking a nap at the office after going for a run or something. I prefer if you didn't take naps at the office, actually. Yeah, I feel ya. Sometimes I fall asleep when I'm feeding the animals. Yo, uh, as long as you don't drown, my dude. Oh, true. I guess only a newbie can truly understand the feelings of another newbie. <laughs> We're kindred spirits, my sister. Kindred spirits. Mr. Rhyme. Oh no. What do you mean, Mr. Rhyme? It's just what Google thought. I'm sorry. What is... Is it a specific Mr. Mime? I'm confused. Yeah, it's no, like a wait, Mr. What? Mime evolution. I've never heard of this Pokemon before. It, it evolves from Galarian Mr. Mime. This is the English version. It becomes a, um, a capitalist. I see. I see. I see. What is the what does the Mr. Mime look like in Galarian form? I actually don't remember. I'm probably gonna be terrified. Oh god. It looks like a clown. <laughs> oh god, yeah, Galarian Mr. No wait. Yeah, you're absolutely right, because he's got a he's got a business tie on that makes him look exactly like a goddamn clown. Clown <laughs> His clown shoes and oh my god, I hate it. Ugh, I hate this. Alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah Terrible. Two peas in a pod, birds of a feather. I suddenly feel so alone. <laughs> what a dude. I actually like this guy. Yeah. No, he doesn't know about the security footage. I figure if anyone's likely to know stuff, that I'd trust more than the, the woman. Yeah. Okay, he, okay. All pieces of evidence out of nothing. So let's talk to her. Let's actually talk to the guy. Wow, there's already three things. Time to talk with my boys. This is exciting. Yep. So what exactly do you do here as an animal keeper? Mainly, I clean the place and feed the animals. Uh, wiping all this glass takes forever. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Oh shit, that would actually be just like... What a time that would be. Mm-hmm. Just the infinite tunnel. Mm -hmm. We love. I can already feel the suffering of trying to do that. Yeah. I can imagine. This tunnel alone must take most of the day. I also prep the food that the animals eat. That's the hardest part of all. You mean it's really difficult to get the hang of? Nah. I mean, I'm a vegetarian, so cutting fish and meat and stuff creeps me out. That's fair. I'll take that. Now, there's something I mm. never expected to hear from a pirate. Do you know anything about the incident that took place this morning? Yeah. One of our guests saw what happened and started screaming. I came running, but by the time I got there, I couldn't see the orca or the captain. Speaking of the captain, what was he like? Like a strong captain who can turn a wild bunch of ruffians into a, some great pirates. Which treat us fairly and equally, humans and fishes alike. Real deal, man. Oh. Hey. What are you crying for? Oh. I, I'm not crying. It's just, I can feel your heart crying. That's all. Girl, what you talking about? I'm not crying either. I guess I won't mention that his eyes are puffier than a pair of pufferfish. Oh. 
I bet Session I'll bet Dr. Krabs are even more upset by his death. Oh no. Dr. Crab. Oh. The vet? The aquarium has a residential vet? Yeah. Yo, hold up. I haven't seen Dr. Crab this morning. Staff was supposed to stay put. The night shift has been on duty since last night, but uh, they wouldn't let us go home. Sasha even had me get, had to get special permissions to go out looking for a lawyer this morning. Hmm. We haven't seen anybody who looks like a vet. Okay. Well, we're going to meet him eventually. Were you rapping something about looking for a weapon earlier? A rifle or something? <laughs> no, not a weapon. Rifle is the name of one of our penguins. Why? Why rifle the penguin? It's called it. It's called. A penguin? Why would you name a penguin something like that? Oi! Yo! 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 Prep for the battle! Prep for the war! Little lady rifle gun ever do a score? Yo, think you can escape with your pride? Nuh uh, you ain't gonna be straight up tonight. Yo! Yo! Yo ho ho! Yo! Yo! Yo ho ho! Oh, that's actually great. What the fuck? They actually put a rap in a... In an Ace 10 game? Hell yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's what she's like. So we named her Rifle. Okay, but did you have to wrap it? That's just how I roll. Rip. Does Rifle wear a backpack by any chance? Yeah, that's the one. So you've seen her, huh? She's always running away. She's such a good runner, we decided to put her work to deliver in flyers. Is that ethical or legal? Nah, she loves it, Do we really want a dangerous penguin like that running loose? The true murderer of, of this case. Oh, rifle's not dangerous. She only attacks people she doesn't like. When we ran into her earlier, she didn't attack us. She straight up ignored us, actually. Hey, violent idea. If you wanted the rifle again, would you mind feeding her an infirmary? What? Oh. She didn't come back to the pool at feeding time like usual, so I've been looking for her. She loves the smell of fish, so she might come over to you if you have some. I love that you're doing the voice of the, the space boy. It's well. just my, like, dude bro voice, dude. It is. It really is. Oh, I would love to feed a penguin. That'd be okay, right, boss? I don't mind, as long as you carry the fish. Large quantity of fish for feeding Rifle the Penguin. Not surprisingly, it has a horribly fishy smell. P.U. It smells so fishy. Wow, Athena, no shit. Nice. Really? What a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Besides Rifle, I've been looking for a small fry, too. Small fry? Is that another penguin? Nah. He's a friend I made. A high school girl. Okay. She went up looking for a rifle somewhere and hasn't been back. Yo. Oh! That would be, um, that would be Pearl then, right? I assume. Oh, oh maybe. She's a small bean, so, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Oh, Pearl's in this case, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, Pearl's definitely in this case. Because from the art. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is she your girlfriend? What? No. No way. Sasha is the one I... So you like Ms. Buckler, do you? Well... <laughs> I really respect her, you know? We have different tastes in music, but I admire the way she lives her life. It's not like I like her. It's more complicated than that. I'm pretty sure that all adds up to like. She tries to put on a brave face, but I think the captain's death has hidden her hardest of all. After all, it was her human shield partner that got killed by that worker. So you think Ola really did it? Well, I can understand how she feels. But she's the one who she's the only one of us who doesn't think the walker did it. Oh, I see. I guess it isn't easy to believe in somebody who can't even speak up for herself. Uh, anyway, let me know if you see rifle or small fry, okay? Small fry said she was gonna ch go check on the Arca ball. Orca pool, one aqua pool, aqua, aqua. Maybe we'll head back there then. They'll do it for us. 
Wow. Jeez. All right, game. Thank you. Yo, yo. My name is Pearl. I like dating. Did mine? <laughs> yeah, probably not. How old? Is, how old is that guy anyway? Twenty-one. Yeah, yeah that's no, what I was no thanks. Age? Question mark. Age? Question mark. Age thirty-six. He died at fifty-seven. Oh Absolutely hardy dude, my dude. Twenty-two. That's a lie. We don't know how old he is. He could be in, ad, ad infinitum. Infinite aged man. Yeah, so it makes him the Phantom. <gasps> that's also why he survived the sniper shot because he literally can't die. Definitely, that's definitely how that oh. works, right? Oh no. Should I just have more chicken to eat? Ah. Oh my god. Huh? There's something on the left side of the pool that wasn't here before. You're right. It looks like an electronic sword? Hey, you're back! Hi, Sasha. What's with this strange sword here? Oh, that's a walkie-talkie. It's probably rifles. Rifle can use a walkie-talkie? She's always running away, so we attached a walkie-talkie to her. If we can hear the sounds around her, we can usually guess where she is. That is actually intelligent. That is way more yeah. intelligent than I thought. Like, I was like, wait, you seriously think you can tell her what to do over a walkie-talkie? But, you know. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like it's like calling a phone, I guess, to see where it is. Yeah, I've never tried that before, actually. Oh, I, no, I get what you're saying. I thought it was in, like, you could somehow they'd pick up. And you would hear where the phone is. No, you hear the fucking phone call. Phone yeah. calling. My dude, come on. Madness. Alright. Chicken consumed. Congrats. Bonfire lit. Ah, you slept. Hello? No. Me? Yeah. There it is. There's me. Much better. But not as she drops the walkie-talkie on the floor. Every member of the crew has one too, so we can communicate back and forth. We can even use them to broadcast to specific parts of the aquarium. Cool, huh? It is actually impressive. Mm -hmm. Well, if Rifle's walkie-talkie is here, then Rifle might still be here too. Rifle, come out, come out, wherever you are. She's got a hand in her fist, fist in her hand. Oh, God, jump scare. Eek! A definite fweet moment. Are you okay? You have to be careful around pools, so you might slip right in. Sure. Don't don't drown, please. Oh. Uh, man, that 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 will never never come up, huh? Yeah. This moment, not important. I'm more afraid of my heart jumping right out. <gasps> hey, who's that riding on Orla? Isn't that rifle? Hey, you're right. Come here, rifle. Come here. Oh, she ignored me again. Why doesn't that penguin like me? Grr. Now you've scared Rifle away with all that yelling. Well, I'm not giving up. I'll make that penguin like me if it's the last thing I do. That's so cute. Oh, Rifle. Sorry, Rifle. But at least you seem all right. oh, that's what she sounds like. What do you mean she doesn't sound like? What do you mean? What do you mean she doesn't sound like this? This is a, this is a girl's voice. <laughs> hey, it's it's pearls. Hello, oh, Mr. Nick. I haven't seen you in ages. Could pearls be the small fry Mr. Rhymes was talking about? Congratulations on your return to lawyering. I've been thinking about stopping by your office for visiting a to, uh, for a visit to congratulate you. <laughs> Good job, pearls. You got there eventually. I <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Really appreciate it. This is Pearl Faye. I call her Pearls. She may dress a little funny, but that's because she's a spirit medium, a real prodigy with great power at that. That's true. I've known her since she was little, and she sometimes comes to the office to visit. She's just a little older than Trucy, so she's been like a big sister to her. That's cute. That is actually very cool. I imagine Pearl would like really just appreciate having the chance to do that as well. 
Aw, yeah, true. Yeah. Guess everyone here knows Mr. Nick, then. He's such a nice guy, don't you think? Is she trying to be my big sister, too, now? Onisa? <laughs> what? You're yeah. My brother, I didn't say the word. <laughs> okay. Alright, sure. I have no idea what that was just now, but sure. We'll take. Oh, I'm so happy you get to be a lawyer again, Mr. Nick. <laughs> Thanks. I let our friends know I was back, too. I wish we could all get... To all get together. It's been quite a while. Maybe we should throw you a surprise party to celebrate your comeback. That would be really nice, but if you tell me about it, it won't be a surprise, you know. Oh. That's true. But we can spring it on you after you have gone and still surprise you. <laughs> She's adorable. I love her so much. Helpful. She has matured and is, is amazing. I assume this is how we feed rifle, right? Let's do oh. it real quick. Oh my! Did you go fishing, Mr. Dick? No, this is for Rifle. We were asked to feed her. Oh, that sounds like fun! Do you think she would take food from me? Oh, I'm sure she would from you. So what you're really trying to say is that Rifle wouldn't take food from me, right? No, that's not what I meant. That is what I meant, though. <laughs> <laughs> Grr, I won't be bested. Pearly, it's on! What? What's on? Now, now, Athena, let's be adults about this. You've got poor pearls here all confused. Okay, I want to see the animation. Feed the, bird, feed the penguin. Feed the penguin. Man, imagine feeding the penguin when you could just not do that. Wow, it's actually been it's actually been like a solid 14 minutes since I last saved. That's terrifying. Can't believe I did that. I mean, seven minutes was like is enough. Like 14 is crazy. Oh God, it's too many. Pearl Fay. What are you doing here, Pearls? My summer camp is here on a field trip. Wait, she goes to a normal school with normal people? I'm normal, Nick. Look at me. <laughs> I'm not a freak or anything. <laughs> she's not a freak, but she's definitely not normal. I just dress weird because it's funny. Wow. Spirit medium idiot. I've been in such a big aquarium before, so I was really looking forward to it. Oh, what a case. Then that incident happened, and the police just finished questioning me. Oh, I see. Um, Mr. Nick, who's that lady next to you? I'm Athena Sykes. I'm a new lawyer at the Right Anything Agency. I feel like I've said that kind of line oh. like three billion times now. Yeah. <laughs> this game has those lines. Yeah. How do you do? My name is Maya per Perlo Perlfe. <laughs> how, how dare you, Maya, that? Damn. Sorry. Namaiwa Pearl Uh No, that's actually not her Japanese, Japanese name. Get fucked. I'm Japanese now. My cousin and my friends call me Pearly. Hang on. Pearl Fay. Um, uh, Harumi Ayasato. Harumi Ayasato. Ayasato. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hope no one hears that ever again. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out names in other languages. Oh uh, yeah, ha Hami-chan is how they shorten it. Hami-chan. Mm. Yeah. Cute. Hami. Yeah, how do- because uh, um, Ayasato is the, is the family name in, in the case of the phase. So. Mm. Yeah, because um, cause I remember, if I remember correctly, um, Mia Fei is Chihiro. And oh, wow. Chiro Ayasato. Maya is Mayoi, which makes it very easy. <laughs> very easy to remember. Oh my god, in the anime she's voiced by Alexis Tipton, the same person who voices um, Congo, which is excellent. Ooh. Nice. Uh, yeah, she's great. She's actually just such a good voice actor. You know what? I didn't realize. I'd, so yeah. that's actually like props to her for that, for doing such a good job of that. Mm-hmm. Pearly it is, then. Nice to meet you. So, how did the two of you meet? Well, you know how I used to travel to Europe to study their legal systems, Pearls? I met Athena on one of those trips. So you're, like, dating, right? 
So tell me more about how the two of you met in Europe. Hey, I thought I was supposed to be the, the, asking the questions here. <laughs> a long time ago, Mr. Wright helped me out of a difficult jam. That's when I started thinking about becoming a lawyer like him. So you were like a mentor, or Mr. Nick? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Mr. Wright is the whole reason I am who I am today. He was the one who told me my knowledge of psychology could help people in court. Gee, Mr. Nick. Looks like you've become a real adult since the last time I saw you. <laughs> I've always been an adult the entire time I've known you, bros. <laughs> wow, rude. This is true, though. <gasps> Rifle! Hey. Oh, would you look at that? Rifle loves you. <laughs> she sure does seem to be attracted to pearls. <laughs> I'm so glad he likes me. These are so adorable, aren't they? I want to. I want to hug that fucking penguin. Holy shit. Okay. I even bought myself a little penguin calendar here at the in gift shop. There are like so many animals that I would love to just hug and like if they wouldn't attack me, that kind of thing. Yeah, I just wanna. I just, just like animals, soft, lovely. I wanna give them little hugs and pet them and stuff. I want them to understand that I mean, I mean no thing, no harm to them. You know? That's I come in beast. Yeah. I have it hanging from my bag already. Like I've got, uh, there's some like possums that live in a couple of trees near my house. So I'm just like, oh, I, I want to, uh, I really want to, because I want to scratch me with the paws, but I want to hug you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the problem. <laughs> Please don't give me tetanus. <laughs> oh, how cute! A calendar in the shape of a penguin. That calendar is a real hit with all our female visitors. I even have one myself. But the rest of the staff think it's too cutesy. I guess it really doesn't fit the whole rough-and-tumble pirate image very well. But, hmm, why does this calendar smell kind of like fish? What do you mean, Mr. Nick? Please don't be rude! Uh-oh, I got pearls mad. Why does it smell like fish, though? I'm so confused. Okay. How is he being rude by saying that a calendar smells like fish? Because this game... Who is he being rude to?! What is this game? This is this video game is beyond beyond me. So mm -hmm. you were looking for rifle two. That's right. I was trying to help Mr. Mr. Marlin, the animal keeper. Come here, rifle. Come on. She went towards Orla instead. Grr, why can't I get rifle to like me? Maybe you should quit chasing after her with that scowl of yours. Sir Nick, could you speak to a lady so rudely? Uh oh, I got pearls mad. Again. Why don't you try to get Rifle to take some food from you? Oh, great idea. And I have just the thing to offer her too. So now we present, we present it. now? I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, sure. This has happened twice in this game now. Rifle, I have a present for you. It's chock filled with love. Here you go. Huh. Hey, Olaf ate my love-filled fish. No. At least it looks like she enjoyed it, though. Alright, then. I think Olaf and I just had a bonding moment. You know what? Athena, you should absolutely be proud of that. No lie. She blossoming with the exchange of some food. Oh, is it moving, Mr. Nick? She's such a dork, I love her. I think yeah. moving might be going a bit far. Anyway, how did you get Rifle to come to you so easily, Pearls? I heard Rifle was attracted to the smell of fish. Oh, what could it be? Mr. Nick! Are you saying I smell like fish? Uh, maybe just a little, yes. Um, I guess I need to change my clothes. That's mm -hmm. odd. I wonder why Pearl smells like she's holding a bucket of fish. Hmm. Orla doesn't usually want to eat it this time of day. We've even been giving her more food than normal at her regular mealtimes lately. Yeah, something's off. Something's super off. I like this. Mm, not like this. Is there something wrong with Orla's feeding habits lately? Yeah, something's weird. The new guy, Marlin, feeds all the other animals besides Orla. 
but the captain oh. and I, her trainer, are responsible for feeding Orlo. Right, that makes sense. It's because, you know, it's a direct, oh, yeah. like, a, it's a specific thing. That makes sense. I figured it was going to be something like that. That's why I didn't come in. It was the captain's turn to feed Orla this morning. But Orla keeps coming to me and signaling she's still hungry. She wants my fish chock filled with love. How long are you going to keep saying that? She sure is excited to make a new <laughs> friend. But I don't think the captain would have forgotten to feed Orla. Yeah, that is pretty weird, huh? Rival and that big creature, they certainly seem to love each other. This is Orla the Orca. Rival and Orla are best friends. They belong together like a clownfish in a sea and him. <gasps> Yo! <gasps> With friends like this, who needs an enemy? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't believe we got got. We actually just got fucking got, holy shit. Second movie reference. <laughs> oh, that's actually great. You know what? That no, but the, this this one we take. This is a good one. The, the, the Sharknado reference, I'm just like, I wanna cry. <laughs> Care to phrase that in a way us non-biology majors can understand? Oh. So this orchard orca is a suspect. I read in the boots once that orcas eat penguins. Don't you worry about that. Orla here is really gentle and she never eats anything but fish. What is happening? What is happening right now? Uh, did fucking... Did the penguin just slap the orca? Uh, maybe? <laughs> I think so. She's an old sweetheart. As a matter of fact, she even tolerates rifle picky on her. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. Up, man. Oh my god, she's getting bullied by a penguin? I can't believe it. <laughs> no wonder she doesn't go back to the ocean. She doesn't wanna she doesn't wanna show her shame at being bullied. bullied? What have you sent me? I'm sure you sent me something. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not dignifying that with like an explanation or anything. <laughs> You can put that in chat if you want to, but damn, that's funny. Alright, well, there it is. <laughs> Why did you send me that? Because I was trying to look for Fit Patel voices. I see. The French one you were doing is fine, don't worry about it. Thank you. Whenever I do their voice, I, um, I, like, have my hands in a cigarette shape. Do you actually? It's great. Oh, I see. It's true, she does seem very gentle. She hardly seems like a killer whale. Hey. As lawyers, we have to do everything we can to save this beautiful, gentle creature. I'm gonna do the, the, the Athena pose. You can't, you can't see it, but... There you go. That's that's me doing... It's in, in your mind and in, in yeah. your soul. Yeah. I, you have one. I emitted the noise, as you as you can tell. I emit, I emit noise. Wow! You're going to defend her in court? She's quite the defendant, isn't she? She's the biggest defendant we've ever had. Literally. Yeah, you didn't need to, like, say that last part, Phoenix. Literally. What, what, what else? <laughs> Metaphysically, she's the biggest one we've ever had. I've just realized the crane thing literally vanishes into the ether. Over there. Oh, it's just really, really foggy out today. <laughs> no, as you can see, it disappears before it hits the fog. Oh, no. I think it turns to, to the right, sorry, to the left. Ooh. It doesn't, though, because it's at the wrong angle. That's the wrong... The perspective oh. is wrong for that. Yeah, no. Weird. <laughs> oh, Pearls, I have a big favor to ask. What is it, Mr. Nick? It's about my Magatama. Its spiritual power seems to have vanished. Oh, that Magatama brings back memories. I remember pouring my spiritual power into it. That was so many years ago. I guess that's why it's almost out now. I'm channeling. There you go, Mr. Nick. It should be fine now. Thank you, Pearls. Now I can break Cyclops again. <laughs> Glad I could help. Well, I think I'll go find Marlon now. Mr. Marlon. I have to be grateful to him. Adorable. Honestly. Yeah. It's just, it's nice to just have... You know, just just pearls around again. Love that girl. She's great. 
and then we get to see we get to see Maya in uh, in the next game. Woo. Well, the game after the next game, since we're gonna play a different one first. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Pearly sure seems right at home at this aquarium. You're right, but didn't she say this was her first time here? Apparently, that girl was in the staff corridor earlier this morning. That's why the detective was questioning her. What was Pearls doing in the staff corridor? I don't know. I thought she was Marlin's friend or something. A staff corridor, huh? Something about that doesn't sit well with me. That is odd. Ooh. Interesting. Well, if it bothers you, why don't you just ask her about it? Yeah, good idea. Let's go catch up with her. Why? why? I guess it's just so I can have the Marlin as well. Ship shape aquarium, aqua tunnel. Aqua tunnel feels like not a Pokemon move exactly, but like you, you get you get kind of what I mean. Like oh aqua yeah, aqua tunnel. It just feels like it like something like that. Anyway, looks like Mr. Rhymes and Pearls are talking. Yep. No, I was about to say is one of them rapping maybe. Oh. Baseball fry was so clutch with the assist. Rhymes and rifle reunion. A tail ended in bliss. Now animal keeper rhymes ain't gonna get cut. Mad props, Mo Fry. This case is now shut. Yo, 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 ho, ho. That was actually great. That was like genuinely not terrible. I liked that. Also, calling her base to Small Fry. <laughs> <laughs> this game really was in 2017. Yeah. I know, right? Love it. I'm literally. I'm sending. I'm sending to Tats just the words base Small Fry with no context. That's it. <laughs> uh, I literally have no idea where the, where the phrase based came from and as far as I was aware it came up in 2019 Marine Jeep you know, is that it's, it's literally just a place that looks like where we're at right now yo in Unova excellent that actually look, that, that's actually sick I didn't know Pokemon had one of those that's very cool sorry what they um the Marine Tube oh yeah in Black and White 2 yeah that is very cool it's not very used. It's not used very much, unfortunately. That sucks. It looks incredible. What yeah. the fuck? I wish you the just resolution. Use it to was get up. through like a route, and there's like no encounters, so you barely ever go there. Damn, that's that sucks. An undersea tunnel built using cutting edge technology. Whoa, Pearl Fay. My name's Pearl Fay. My name is Pearl Faye, and I'm gonna fucking feed this penguin. That's 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 it, right? That's how it go. Uh, uh, I'm a car. Did you say it's I'm a car? Here. I realized my voice sounds like video. I'm a, uh, I'm, a, I'm a car. It does. It. Yeah, let me find it. I think you read that line already. My brain is a See you again sometime, Rifle. <laughs> Tats' reply was just yes. <laughs> so he remembers. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> to be fair, he did. He doesn't know what case we're playing, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm really happy that they have, like, automatic voice lines for the animals. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> okay, let's go, Rifle. See you, Small Fry. Oh, Mr. Nick, I didn't see you there. You can talk to me again. My boy's here. Oh, oh wait. I'm so happy you get to be a lawyer again, Mr. Nick. Did we already do that? I forget. I genuinely can't remember. We did it last time, but maybe it's different. <laughs> Thanks. I let our friends know. Yep, okay. It was the surprise party. <laughs> uh, minute long video, but it's oh. worth it. What? <laughs> I don't think you should play that on stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna try. I just wanna open. I'm gonna open the tab. I'm not gonna play it. You know anything I can do to help you? Sorry, I'm, I'm a murmurer. I got a problem with murmuring. Mm. I'm profane. Mm. We don't really know anything about that. That's all right, pearls. No worries. It's because I presented this because I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a talk or a present. Relation yeah. to rhymes. Just uh, friends, I assume. 
Hey, Pearly, you and Mr. Rhyme seem to be really good friends. Could you tell us more about your relationship? Well, I... Uh, excuse me? Oh, no. Excuse me? Oh, it's one. One. Um, Pearls, why do I see a psyche lock? Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Nick. But I really shouldn't talk about it. See, it's understandable if she has a crush on him because, like, he's older and that's just a thing people do, right? That might be a bit of it. Praying the game doesn't be weird. I don't think it's going to be weird about it. It's a, it's a normal human thing for, like, teenagers to, like, you know, have crushes oh, yeah, on people, you know. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a normal... I, I'm assuming that that's what it, that's hey, all yeah, it I'm is. Yeah, I'm talking about the alternative. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to do that. He, he, he just seems yeah. to think that she's just neat. Like, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, I don't really feel right about digging into Pearl's affairs, but she was there at the aquarium at the time of the incident. Whatever she's hiding could help us in court. Sorry, What's Pearls, but I'll have to use my Magatama on you. Magatama on ya! Magatama on ya. And ya. Man, what a time. What a time to eat Magatama. Ah, Magatama. Take that! Take that! <laughs> oh! <coughs> Remember when you used to have to present it instead of pressing a special button for it? Oh god, you're right. A psyche lock. A lock on a person's heart that only I can see. The deeper the secret is hidden, the more locks there will be. Pearls only has one lock, so I should be able to undo it fairly easily. If I make a mistake, I'll be locked in a loop and won't be able to move forward. Okay, time to give it a try. Ooh. 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 There it is. Oh. It's classic. That's very cool. Pearls, you have to tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. Relationship? There is no relationship between Mr. Marlin and me. We're just a visitor to the aquarium and an animal keeper at the Moon Aquarium. That's all. But there are areas where ordinary visitors to the aquarium don't get to go. You were here before the incident occurred, were you? Weren't you? Boo -boo. What could it be? I don't know. Gee. Staff corridor. The nap room. Yes. There's a nap that room. <gasps> no, that means. She, she just went to take a nap. That's literally it. That's it. Oh. Yes, that's right. But how did you know? Someone told me you were there. Oh, I got confused and went the wrong way. I didn't know I was. it was a corridor just for the staff. But that's all it was, Mr. Nick. I didn't have anything to do with Mr. Marlin. Marlin. Sounds reasonable. I guess I'd better move on to my next topic. Actually, there's something else I've been wondering about, Pearls. Why do you smell like fish? Come on, it's obviously the fucking calendar. <laughs> oh no, calendar. she went into the feeding room! Oh, a fish? What makes you think I smell like fish? Well, there's a certain someone who convinced me it wasn't my imagination. She's apparently very attracted to the smell of fish. Rifle didn't want anything to do with Athena, even though she had a bunch of fish. So why then was Rifle so attracted to you, Pearls? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, looks like she's still not ready to talk about it. You had an object with you that smelled fishy too. In fact, I think this has something to do with your secret. It's just it's the calendar? Yeah. Yeah, what? I don't understand. This is this feels so weird. I feel like I'm being like overly like <laughs> overly like. What's the word? I don't know. We're just like being overbearing and yeah, feels going weird. too hard on her. Yeah, the fishy smelling calendar has something to do with your secret, doesn't it, pearls? Ah, I I can't lie to you, Mister Nick. Yeah, it's your own fault that we. I'll tell you about me and Mister Marlin and about the calendar. Okay. It's gone. I heard it pop. And the chain's gone as well. And now there's text in front of me. It's gone. <laughs> the text. It's now gone! Bam, and the text is gone. Whew, it was only one lock, but it sure took some work. Ooh. I guess I'll save now that we've done I'm that. now. It's fine. Now that three minutes sojourn is out of the way. Ooh. Please tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. I became distracted by the gift shop almost as soon as we got to the aquarium. Before I knew it, and everyone else had moved on, and I got lost. 
I was so embarrassed to be lost at my age. You mean an age? You know, people get lost at like old ages and you don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. pearls. I know big crowded places are hard for you. I sort of panicked and went down the wrong corridor. Skrrr. I ended up in the food prep room and that's where I met Mr. Marlin. I really started him when I called out to him. He jumped so much he started me too and I lost my balance and fell down. That makes sense. Oh, well, Mr. Nick, I spilled so many fish all over the floor. Oof. I guess that explains why you smell fishy, pardon the pun. You Lol. smell fishy. Lol. Yeah, but my calendar fell off my bag and got buried in old fish, too. But it doesn't explain why Pearls wanted to keep it a secret. But yeah, why? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Why did you want to hide your meeting with Mr. Rhymes? Well, I didn't want him to get in trouble over feeding sanitation regulations because of me. Yeah, I know about that stuff. And Mr. Marlin said he didn't want anyone to know he was in the food prep room. That's remember why. That's why they show her forehead because she's a very smart character. Oh, that's that's I a hit. thing. Yeah. Huh? Why not? What was he doing in there? Before I spoke to him, he was staring at a calendar. He's, you know, he realized tomorrow was. July 21st, you know, that day. Anyway, but it's so me, he dropped his calendar too. Excuse me? Yeah, don't worry about it, it's okay. <laughs> Imagine remembering that currently today is July 20th, damn. Well, I noticed as soon as it popped up, anyway. We had to search for it among, among, among the fish. Sorry, that word. Among? Among? Oh, I thought he was here. Oh my. <laughs> Wait a minute. This calendar of yours, it already has writing in it. It does? But I didn't write anything in it yet. There's something written here under today's day. Meet the captain at the orca pool at 7am. Uh oh. Maybe my calendar and Mr. Marlin's got mixed up. Pearls, about what time did you run into Mr. Rhymes? I think it was about 10.15 when he had the info desk announced that I was lost. So I must have first got into the prep room at about 10.10. 10. I see. Do you mind if I hang on to this calendar for a while? It might be a clue to the victim's movements before he was killed. Alright. But be sure to give it back when Mr. Marlin... Give him Mr. Marlin... Uh, okay. Later, okay. I'm fine. I had a stroke at the young age of 17, it's fine. <laughs> at the, uh, the, the, the ripe old age of 17. Um, Alright, the good news is... Um, if the captain was killed at like 10 10 ish, then that means that um, Rhymes has an alibi. Ah, uh, alibi. Quiet. Alibi. Alibi, alibu. Malibu. Good. <laughs> now maybe I'm ready to remove Ms. De Plume's Cyclox too. Let's go. Cool. Da, 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 da. Oh, I just realized the fucking stools are treasure chests on the left. Oh my god, they are. That's incredible. incredible. I love it. Ah, uh, damn. Papa Danger. I just, I, I already just want this investigation segment to be over. They're not going to hide. Several <laughs> shit. I, I just, I just almost want to take a break from the game, Neil. Already, nearly. I think it's because of how like. It was just weird having like the closure of the finale and then just coming back to it. Yeah. It's weird. I'm, I'm also really mad because it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just mad that like I accidentally lost the fucking the start of Space oh, Attorney. Oh, no, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really mad about that. That sucks. That's like no. At least I've, I theoretically sent. Actually, I need to check my channel because, I theoretically sent um all of every like even the like nine minute split off segments because that's originally the reason I wasn't just like, sending them all over was because of the split offs. I didn't want to just like upload like a, a nine minute video by itself, you know, relative to the rest of everything else. Um, mm -hmm. And I wanted to like download those and re-render them, but I've just like, you know, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that. Who yeah. cares? Who cares? Uh, not having to worry about the uploads is really nice as well. Yeah. Just the fact that I can just do that and send it immediately across. Like I, I like that Twitch has that feature, but like, damn. Mm. Uh, apparently, one of the one of the one of the pieces of of the um the stream the other day isn't it ha is still pending for some reason. Hmm. And to be fair, I did need to do a, like a bunch of different things, so who knows? 
Okay. Well, whatever. That's fine. Anyway, let's continue. Sorry. Just had to... No, it's all right. Check. <laughs> I just had to check because I realized all of a sudden. You people again? You're becoming quite the nuisance. That vegetarian won't come out of then. I might just have to give up and leave. Veterinarian. Vegetarian. <laughs> Vegetarian. No, my words. Do I look like an idiot to you? Wait, if he's a vegetarian, does that mean he only eats vets? Yes, the it works. <laughs> a it's veterinarian? Disgusting. Is that that Dr. Crab Mr. Rhymes was talking about? You are correct. He likes to shut himself in the, the back room there. Come out. But I don't think he's even in there today, so I'm, ready about, I'm about ready to go home. Hmm. I wonder what she's all about. That's be interesting to find out, but I have no idea. I'm a mystery. I love the um her glasses get like a little shing. Yeah, I think that's very it's this is it's just very good. Like her whole character design is just incredible and I love it. <laughs> yeah. She sure seems to know a lot about the workings of this aquarium. Maybe a little something about the incident this morning too. Mr. Wright, there's no time to be standing there thinking to yourself. It's time to put your psychedelic clock skills to work and uncover her secret. Me to the main character of a visual novel. Yeah. That's Psyche Lark, Athena. Psyche Lark. <laughs> yes. You can talk to me anytime you'd like, I would just stand here. It's totally okay with me. <gasps> I'm gonna save the game first. Good. Even though I just saved oh I saved it seven minutes ago. Seven minutes? Oh my god. Seven minutes is all I can spare, you know? That's crazy. Just no comment. I love it. I've had enough. <laughs> no comment is way funnier than literally anything else. Oh. Got it. Mm -hmm. What? Huh? What? What'd you say? Hmm? What'd you say, say to me? You human being? <laughs> cool Wahama stuff. Don't mind me. Um, Yeah. I swear there was some... Yeah. Yeah, I, th I thought she had like three locks before, by the way. But she does not... Misremembered me. Mm. <laughs> of course I have to. Mr. Plume, I want you to tell me the secret you're hiding. I don't do nothing of that sort. Would mean breaking my promise. I don't know who you made this promise to, but you will tell me. You're not an aquarium employee, and yet, here you are, after the place is closed. That must mean you're connected to the incident involving the owner somehow. Oh ho ho! You don't know anything about any incident involving the owner. No, I think you do. I have a piece of evidence here that suggests you do know something. It's literally the the the, the this the footage. According to Detective Fulbright, this shows the orca attacking the victim, and the person in this footage is wearing an outfit just like yours, Ms. De Plume. Ah, oh, you suppose there's no hiding this bombshell figure? Is there? Yes, his eye. Yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna make fun of it for that. That's that's just yeah. Two. I wonder what what what's with the X's though. Damn, is she like a Dragonic Overlord player? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I can she's guess a, why you're here at the aquarium. Hmm? She's just a winner at Norton Crosses. Those that's are true. all her badges for all her victories. You aren't simply a visitor to the aquarium. What you really are is. I want to witness. I guess. Yeah, I mean, funny things. You are a visitor who also happened to witness the death of the owner, Jack Shipley. That is... No, I won't that's it. They promised the police. It's not good for you to keep things inside, you know. I'm pretty sure you'll feel much better once you get it all out. I... 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 I give up. I tell you everything! I'll tell you everything. I'm the white woman now. Why? Why are you doing it like that? I'll go back to the old voice. Yeah, the old voice is better, please, oh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> it's funnier as well. <laughs> <laughs> if she wanted to tell me this badly, why couldn't she have just done so from the top? I think anyone would agree that I held it in for the, as long as I could. But I couldn't be expected to withstand this commoner's badgering any longer. Please calm yourself, Mr. Bloom, and that's top class badgering to you. <laughs> Well, correct. I'm going to kill as well. Kill whales, climb with my own eyes. Got a problem with that, blue boy? Hope. Hope. Boss. 
Mr. Plume's anger is so powerful. Even I feel like I'm about to explode. You have to do something quick. Please don't explode on me. Oh my god. Just kaboom. Absolutely just kaboom moments. I'm wired up and ready to go at any time. Could you start with telling me what you saw? I witnessed the very moment the killer whale attacked the victim. I told the police what I saw as well. And this sort of person who simply can't listen to the truth is none. Hmm, so both Mr. Plume's statement and the footage point to Orla's guilt. Hmm? Pardon me. You seem pretty pleased that you witnessed the, this incident. What? Please, shame on you. You blame that I'm happy about an innocent man's death? No, of course not. I just don't get the sense that you were afraid of Orla. It's more like you were interested in her. Are you? You know. I wasn't sure, but I was thinking that maybe. You perhaps one of my fans? Is that how you knew? That I am the non-fiction writer, Norma Beplum. What? I write fan fiction about the people here. So oh, that, that Norma De Plume. So, big fan, huh? No, I've never even heard of her. <laughs> well, now that you figured me out, there's no sense of trying to hide who I am, I suppose. Uh, talking to fans is about to, is a part of a writer's duty, I'm there all. <laughs> but I'm not a fan, I tell you. <laughs> the, just the, the, the continuous changing of certain lines is always funny to me, I don't yeah. know why. Specific Yeah. So what exactly have you written, Ms. De Plume? Oh, my. I'm going to say you truly aren't familiar with my work. I hate the truth. I take great pride in my craft, you know. Okay. I've been getting information on all of the killer wear for a year now. I've been very, I've been very worried about all his violent tendencies. And today... My concern was proven to be well justified. Ola isn't violent, she's a sweet and gentle soul. Oh, the moment you let your guard down that killer whale. Chomp. Ship shape according, it's always been denied that I was always denied the killer whale's violent streak. Hmm. It has been rumored to attack people. But rumors are just rumors, they aren't necessarily true. Yes, I realize that, but only you like the truth. That is why I question you not directly. But did you feel so out of my research and even had the audacity to say to me? You're nothing but a nuisance. I mean, day after day, don't they ever come back? Again. <laughs> it sounds like her research was a bit too much to take. <laughs> but then, how did you get in here if you've been blacklisted? They have my methods. <laughs> I guess that's with the outfit, I guess. <laughs> yeah. This lady is shameless. Alright. Cool. Cool, I guess. We won't let you speak badly of all. We're going to defend her. I'm only stating what I saw with my very own eyes. Ooh. I came to the aquarium today to observe the killer whale. Sorry. Itchy no. eye. Uh... No problem. I'll just take another... Oh, I'm sick of my cigar. <laughs> what cigar? You know the one I'm holding right now. You can see it. Definitely. Is it that yes. walrus over there? Is that it? Mm, yes. Quite, quite a big one. I did. It's very, very good. But on my way to that thing's tank, I heard its cries. You can hear all from the visitors' corridor. Yeah, speak is there in the corridor, up near the ceiling. Apparently, that speaker is there, so the visitors can hear the whale's killer sounds. Hmm. In any case, I approached the killer whale's tank and heard its cries. And when I arrived, I saw something terrifying. What did you see? The killer whale stealing the swashbuckler spectacular hat the owner was wearing. And then, 
The moment it beat him and shook him mercilessly to death within its jaws. What? Orla bit the owner to death? In justice we trust! So I take it Mrs. De Plumes just finished telling you what she saw. Detective Fulbright, I guess you've already heard it too. Yup, when we took her statement earlier. As you heard, I'm afraid that accidental death is really the only thing it could be. Yes, the dangerous creature like that cannot be allowed to harm anyone ever again. But she's not dangerous. Sorry, but the prosecutor's office said the case didn't have enough merit to go to trial. There was one prosecutor, though, who expressed an interest in the case. Really? Then could we have that prosecutor take a look at the investigation reports? Unfortunately, I doubt even he'd take action without evidence of a homicide. Look, I understand how you feel, Mr. Lawyer, but maybe you should give up on this one? Not a chance. We'll just re-examine the crime scene and strengthen our case. Well, if that's your version of justice, I won't stop you. We won't rest until we find proof it wasn't an accidental death, Detective. You'll see. Let's go, Mr. Wright. Time to check out that crime scene one more time, please. Oh my god. It never ends! This is the case that never ends. We've been going for two and a half hours of just this. And we've made like almost what feels like a very little progress at the same time. You can save. I should you save, in fact. You can save if you wanna. It's been ten minutes since last time. <laughs> Orca pool. Orca, Orca pool. pool. All right then, let's start the re-examination pronto. I'm gonna go check out that mess in the back one more time. Grr. Athena, wait, no running. Ah! Oh no. She slipped. No. Are you okay? It didn't look like she tripped, but. <gasps> Finally. <laughs> Look at her just in that pose as well. Oh my god, uh, I slipped. Footsteps. Wheat? Huh? Oh my god. Orla, what is it, girl? Oh my god. Ah! Athena, are Not you alright? She crashed into all that stuff behind her. Nice on. <laughs> I was not expecting a Wii Sports reference, but we'll take it. <laughs> I tried to get out of the way, but all I did was slip and fall again. That was a pretty amazing wipeout. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Why did Ola spike that ball at me? Through all the fish I gave her, I thought she liked me. Maybe she thought you were the main entree. Very funny, boss. Ha ha ha. In any case, let's give the ball back to Orla. Oh. What is that? What is that man? What the fuck? There's a bloody coin! There's a bloody coin! There's a bloody coin! <laughs> oh, and there's the octopus arm that broke off. Interesting. Oh, it's all here. Hmm. Looks, looks like everything got shifted around when I fell on it. Hey, you're right. There are things now that we couldn't see before. Like another ball. I guess Orla really likes them. Look, there's something new by the outline of the body, too. We better take a good look around. We're getting into a Hear me out. What if I really just don't want to? <laughs> <laughs> ah! I, but we aren't, though. We need to oh, talk to Crab them. as well. You got crabs. Oh. Are you, you feeling it, Dr. Crab? Are you feeling it, Dr. Crab? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that child is her. <laughs> what? Call an ambulance. Hey, it's just a dummy. I hate this. That, that reading was really good. <laughs> it is? Oh, I mean, of course it is. I was just testing your response to an emergency. And thank you. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> well, I guess we found out that you don't bluff well under pressure. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to keep practicing then. I wonder what the dummy is for, anyway. Oh, oh, that? We use it to train Orla. Wait, 
Did it have bite marks in it? Probably. I feel like that was the substitute dummy, yeah. Huh. I'm not sure. It's smaller than a human, but it does the job. Some of our tricks can be pretty dangerous, so Orla practices them on the dummy first. We got the tricks. Those bite marks look pretty dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely has bite marks. Yummy, yummy. Bloody coin. Mark, not. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't mind it. <laughs> was it Mr. Wright? There's blood on it! I just skipped like a line because I just don't care. I was just like, what's this, a coin or something? I don't know. You're right, oh. but it's dried. Do you think it could be the victims? What was it doing all the way over here in the first place? Hmm, I'm not sure, but now that we've found blood outside the pool, it just might help us prove that there's more to this case than just accidental death. Oh. Hey, you're right. Ola certainly can't leave the pool, after all. It's true. Have that analyzed, dummies. <gasps> Where's Emma Sky when you need her? Yes. Speaking of coins, take a look at this. There are a few coins around the body here, too. You're right, boss. But where did they go? They aren't here anymore. You don't think somebody picked them up, do you? Hmm. Da -da. Da -da. Octopus. Let's make some calamari. Yummy. Looks like we just found that giant octopus prop's missing leg. Wow, I bet you could get a whole lot of carpaccio from a giant leg like that. Carpaccio! Carpaccio! I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's go to the ocean and try and catch a giant octopus of our own. Yeah, you but see? even if we did catch one, how are you planning to slice it up? Kind problem. That's what man invented chainsaws for. <laughs> Athena, what are you saying? <gasps> I love Athena engine. right now. Holy shit. I've never seen anyone so hell-bent on chopping down on some giant octopus. Well, I doubt we could catch one that big anywhere near the shore anyway. The more roadblocks you throw up, the more I want to do it, you know. Ooh, I can't wait to get started. It would appear that Operation Discourage Insanity has backfired. <laughs> Operation <laughs> Discourage Insanity. It's true, though. Broken Yo, sword. the keyblade. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What? What do you want about the keyblade? <laughs> if any, look, if you're gonna make a joke that it's any sword, it's a Buster sword. Look at that giant squareness. Oh, true. That's. I think that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the keyblade. You know, Cloud Strife's famous keyblade. I mean, I mean, <laughs> the one he used to kill Dumbledore. <laughs> I couldn't think of a funnier name to replace than that, that so... Worked, that worked. <laughs> I believe Dumbledore died to a fucking enemy boy. <laughs> Tip of the blade is missing. I guess I just broke off. What did, what did he say? There's a broken sword here. Okay, cool. Thanks. It's just broke off. Don't tell me it happened when Athena fell over. You better not be trying to pin the blame on me, boss. What? No, of course not. No, you're just trying to hide it. It's written all over your face. Also, again... Athena can, like, hear the feelings in your heart. She can tell. It's Besides, the broken part isn't even here. How could it have been my fault? I better watch what I think, or I'll get every little thing thrown back in my face. Damn. Thought crimes, am I right, fellas? This is fucking 1984 right now. God. <laughs> the only reason that that's in my head right now is because I literally was watching a video earlier today on, like, you know, alternate history stuff. And it's like, well, I was okay. watching a couple of videos, and one of them was like the explanation of the the setting of 1984, and it was very, cool. very interesting. Just, it was just neat. Yeah. Nice. Hey, look at this mark on the floor. What do you suppose it is? That's where we stand. We want to play volleyball with Orla. 